start recording. Done! Hello! Hello! Everyone. Hello! Did Welcome to us? this Glasgow 2024 <laughs> Twitch stream. We are, as always, playing on behalf of Glasgow 2024, the Worldcon that is coming to Glasgow this year, 2024, August 8th or 6th. We are still beyond excited to see you there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's only two months. <laughs> oh my god, it's sneaking up on us. Oh Jesus my god, Christ. yes. yes. <laughs> A lot of stuff is happening very soon and I don't know Things how it got happening. here. I've moved house, they're having stuff. I'm You're moving, moving house. house, there's a convention. Stuff. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, you've not explicitly yeah. said it, so I'm like, they're doing stuff. There's things occurring. Yeah. It's very soon. You can yeah. still purchase a membership to the convention if you like. We do have a rate rise coming up very soon. On the so 1st of July, if you're watching you. this on YouTube, sucks for you. <laughs> also, folk who are paying in installments have to finish their payments by the end of this month. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. well, you're right. 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 super informed. It's me. <laughs> it's for you. It's I need to pay it by the end yeah. of this month. <laughs> yeah, we got the reminders this month. I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> My reminder was, do you still want to come? Because I've not paid any of it. <laughs> <laughs> what was the point in the installments? <laughs> because I wanted to lock yeah, it in with a cheaper rate, rate and I wanted to save all my money in my in, like savings account. Get that yeah, sweet, sweet, enough. like three pounds interest. <laughs> love it, love it. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> we, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, still yeah. purchase a membership we to Glasgow 2024. Yeah. There was a rate rise coming up at the beginning of July. There will still be memberships available after that. They will just be at a much higher rate. And if we run out of space, we will stop selling memberships. That seems fair. <laughs> because we don't want to pack people in sacks out of these. Yes. So We've been to conventions when they do that. It's not It's not great. Mm. We want to be more conscientious of uh, our members and not kill you all like sardines. <laughs> yes. But yes, please do hop on over to our website, check out memberships, check out all the amazing content that we have online, like our blog. There's our entire web series that are now all up on YouTube, which not only includes this Twitch stream, uh, recordings that we put up on YouTube, but like loads of previous content that is a great example of how we do online conventions because you can also purchase an online membership. Which theoretically shouldn't be limited because you can't have too much physics too many physical people in an online space. Yes, that is true. Yes. We, you do you will never be the sardine as the online member. Um in addition, our Hugo packet is also now live. You can still access this if you want to. You just need to purchase a Wuspers membership and then you can access all of the wonderful things that are in the Hugo packet. It is massive this year. Yeah, we have one done. book and I barely made it down. Yeah. In fact, I thought it was like, my laptop stopped downloading it because it ran out of space. Yeah, I'm having to go through a folder at a time and just be like, I'll have like this one and then I'll delete it and get new things. There are, and you are so hard much hard. content yeah, on it. Yeah, but there are two those. movies on it? Two movies, six two books, movies. six novellas, six so novelettes. Series? You can Whoa. apply series. to get some games as well. Like there's yes. one that you can definitely yeah. get, I think. Which one? Um, Oh, um, there's one where you can get a Steam key for it. Oh, is that Dredge? Yes, yeah. Dredge. Um, I really want to play that and it's only on Windows. Oh, <laughs> oh no. But yes, the Hugo Packet, it, we had to delay getting so it out this year because of just how much content we have managed to pack into this Hugo Packet. It is well worth the price of a Hugo membership and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> so if you want access to all of that amazing content, all you have to do is pick up a, a Worst First membership and then you can have access to all of it. Like, even if it's just the book, say a book is £8, you're getting six books, that's £48. I don't know how much an e-book is. Mm, true. Because we, do, we don't send a physical copy, sorry. £48 still. And a Worst First is 45 Yes. So. And then you get two movies and there's so much. Including so much the Dungeons fun. and Dragons movie. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> I'm jumping with that delightful segue. <laughs> we'll jump into and this we are doing let's roll today. This I believe is session. Oh, I need to post sixteen. Sixteen. Good session Lord. sixteen yes. of Hell and High Water. We are. It's a homebrew camp uh, campaign that uh, mm -hmm. I've written, highly stolen from literally everything. Because why wouldn't you? Yeah, um, it's inspiration. It definitely. Mm. Uh, I believe we've still got our QR codes up on the screen, don't we? Yes. Yes, so there will be two QR codes on our screen, which can... Three QR codes? I always forget. 
There I'm, is, there is, um, <laughs> there's a live button over the thing I can't see. Um, yeah. There is a QR code here to join the convention and there to donate to the fan fund and there explaining what the fan fund is. Yes. So join the convention and fan fund. Our fan fund is where you can donate a little bit of money to help um, c community members attend conventions that they wouldn't otherwise be able to afford to attend, which is wonderful. We and all the links are in the chat. <laughs> Do we want to try and help as many people come to as many conventions yep. as possible? Yeah. But you can check that out using the QR codes and the links in the chat. Actually, the fan fund link I just sent is out of date. <laughs> but the QR code's still there. You'll figure that one. <laughs> awesome. So with that, I think we will jump into our recap. Our what now? No, no. We'll start with the introductions. I always forget about that bit. Sorry. Yes. I'm Alex. I'm the DM. This is my campaign. <laughs> Hi, Alex. <laughs> I'm Isla. I'm not the DM. I'm playing Kai. They are a bard, warlock, half-elf. Stood on top of a beehive. Nice. Oh, yeah. Howdy. I am on a beehive, so are you. I'm Will. I'm playing Adeline. He's down here. Uh, he, so uh, he is a monster hunter ranger uh, and an Azamar. And a Knight of Ash. He got a promotion recently in his he job. He did, yeah. Um, I'm Rosie. I'm playing Polly. She is a circle of bees, druid, and also an Azamar. And still has a blue chat cup. She does. She has <laughs> yeah. a blue chat cup. She's oh. me because she's got the, the, the cup of the cosmos. Cup of the cosmos. Do you it drink honeyed mead out of it? Polly Long. I should. I think you put a really weird metal in it at one point. Oh, yeah. You can clean it. That's fine. Yeah, that's all right. And yeah, it's molten metal. It'll solidify, maybe. Really? Oh, I don't we, know. Who's Not Mercury. Who's um, oh, don't bring that. Awesome. Shall we jump into the recap then, please, Will? Sure. Do we have a timer? We can do. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Yes, we do. <laughs> cool. I enjoyed the pressure. Right, I'll get in for it. So, we are in the Feywilds. Uh, and have been for, well, I guess, a session and a half now. Um, we picked up in our last session, uh, the morning after a very interesting night, with a bunch of different events, where Kai had a vision, a visit from their deity, uh, a rather cool lightning storm and a demonstration of um, renewable energy in the Feywild. <laughs> but also a bit of a dire warning that if you don't get back this trident, this artifact of Talos, um, you will be doomed to wander the realms eternally as a shadow of your former self. And the last person who held that position might now be out to get the trident and or you. It's a race. Yeah. Polly, on the other hand, spoke to some bees. I sure, I think. They were really cute. Uh, yeah. And they asked for some help. Um, and since they're not far away, that's the first thing we sped off to do in the morning, was uh, Polly cast a wind walk on everybody, and we all took to the skies as clouds and uh, a few of the bees as well. Led us to their uh, a clearing, um, a protected clearing, there was like a bubble uh, disguising it inside, and after proceeding inside we found a nice garden with hives and out structures, uh, a particularly large bee called Pollyanna, and a cyclops called Mudlump, who's the gardener. We made nice with them, we kind of fumbled our way through conversation, there was telepathy and languages involved. Um, made a deal with Mudlump that we'd stick around and protect the grove against attackers, these folks, uh, and in exchange uh, Mudlump would give us some information on the Collector, uh, a being of power in this year neck of the woods. Uh, and then the baddies showed up and we had a fight, and that's where we are, and I've still got 26 seconds left! Um, Just keep going. <laughs> Hell yeah. Where does the combat end? Uh, we set up a pretty good ambush for them. Um, <laughs> got end. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we kick ass, we obviously. We kick ass. Take games. Mudlump lives. Mudlump is totally going to live. He's totally not in a very... Don't rough, make that face out. Rough like, state. Not um, rough. <laughs> um, these four big ogre-looking dudes on saber-toothed bears or polar bears rode in. Um, this guy... You're done. Thank you, Will, for this wonderful explanation this of where we are. Well this done. motherfucker right that here. That motherfucker. <laughs> he can do cone of cold. He needs to die. Do you remember when we started these streams and you were like, keep your language to a minimum? Yeah, we were like, this what is happened? technically safe for work. And like, is it though? I'm not sure it is, is anymore. It? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it may be a bit as work, but we're in Glasgow. Hey. I forgot. This is normal. Yeah, awesome. we're, we're being good at swearing for Glasgow. Should we creatively swear? <laughs> that's, that's maybe no, not I was meaning okay. like, it's not very bad. 
Oh, okay. No, it's not for Alaska. <laughs> not for certain parts of Alaska. We um, use our one F bomb for the day. <laughs> one. Okay, <laughs> we are in the middle of combat. We're going to continue using the initiative from last turn. Uh, last time, you've had two ra- two rounds of combat, and we're just going to hit the top combat again. And unfortunately, that means throwing Kai in the deep end of mm. what you're going to do. Oh no, Kai in the deep end, as if that's not where they thrive. Cool. I jump off the behind. They're such boom, a boom. strong swimmer. I'm here. Well done. Do I need to do anything to jump off? Um, I'm now on the ground. I don't know how. How's your acrobatics skill? What do you got? Plus eight. Oh, you're fine. You can jump off a big Plus high. seven. You can jump off a big Cool. Um, <laughs> I'm not making you roll for that, but like break your ankle or something. <laughs> I'll do, I'll do. Do we want first level? Let's go. Let's go to second level arms of Hadar. Okay. Can we make a strength save? Who? The guy. This guy. Just. Or, well, no, actually, it's everything within a 10 foot radius, so the guy and the mount. The guy and the mm, mount nice. are making a strength saving. Strength one? save, please. DC 17. Cool. Is this against a spell? Yes. Oh. Okay. Trying to remember if anybody has any effects on that. Okay. Effect of, oh, I think you've got yeah. 17. 17. Okay, so we have a success Seven. from Charlie and Failure. That was the one that was slowing them down, um, wasn't it? The mount. It has to break with the pier, but I think I've, I just need to I've dropped check. that. Yeah. No, that's fair. Everybody's left it. I'm no, that's cool. Back in Please it. continue. It, it's a purpose. Seven uh, necrotic damage. Um, okay. For for the for the failure, seven necrotic damage and no reactions, and then Ooh. for a pass, half of seven, which is three. I did not roll very well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So Charlie's mount has no reactions. Correct. And then. Da, da, da. Other page. This page? This page. <laughs> oh yeah, we called them all Alan, Barry, Charlie and Dave. Because <laughs> it's really hard to yeah, differentiate God. otherwise. Remind me, so That's there two of them are still on a, a steed and a guy? A steed and steed. Just a steed. Steed, a steed. Yeah, yeah, there's only one guy left, then, which is Charlie. It, okay, cool. That's fine. There we go. Yeah. Right, that, so mud, Mudlums just get fucking savaged by bears over here. Whoever two is. Yeah. So. Saber bears. They have names. Saber polar bears. Saber bears. Okay. Barry's mount is getting attacked. Barry's mount. Okay. Uh, theoretically attacked. <laughs> uh, that's uh, a 15 to hit. Okay. Um, and that is... Yes, yeah, so we've got Alan's mount, Barry's mount, mm-hmm. Charlie and Charlie's mount. Mm-hmm. Dave is dead. Ah, it Ooh. takes eight cold that damage. That was Dave. Hell yeah. Eight gold damage. Yep, and speed is reduced by ten feet. That's amazing. Amazing. amazing, amazing. That is me. Wonderful. Okay, it is now Barry's mount, which mm. is going to continue in his attack <laughs> of Mudlump. Because I don't think it can understand the Which difficulty. one is Barry's mount? Uh, Barry one. is righty, which okay. is, yeah. Yes, My yeah. thing is still loading, but I'm they pretty have... sure he needs to make a... Numbers. It's going to take damage because okay. it's um, in its yeah, sure. in a storm of, of So wings. I'm fairly sure he'll survive that damage so I'm going to continue with his attack to keep I it could roll all max You could you, you And I still it. think he'll survive <laughs> no, <I> Sorry <laughs> Okay so we are going to do two gore attacks I think Oh no Miss Ooh, So not good Can you let me know if one of them Hits. One is going to hit. Yeah. Uh, Adeline. Leaving. No, I thought maybe I could buff his AC. Is going to. Yeah, I'm within five feet of my lump. Mm-hmm. So. Spatially, this 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 looks better with medium creatures. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction, kind of protect the wings to Ooh. add four to my lump's AC. Oh. It's just enough. Yay! Yay! I like the visual of like your wings wrapping around like the his calf. That's really <laughs> his ankle. <laughs> I just like a dive roll, like tumble through his legs, and, like so throw up a wing, block a tusk. 
<laughs> and then like cycle all the way back to the square. Yeah. <laughs> I imagine the same about like its first attack doesn't hit. Maybe it's like um, its horn like catches on a bit of broken fence work, but mm. then it swings its head round to smash a very very pointy tusk into Mudlump's ankles, and you just <clears throat> a little wing out and clip it. Very cool. And protect his little ankles. Yes. That was damage, wasn't it? Pardon? That was damage. Yes, 14. 14, thank you. Number two. Uh, 14. Yes, there we go. Okay, and that is Barry's turn. Dave is dead. Clifford! Right, Who's running right. Clifford? Do we have the little desks that the Bardic sits on? Oh, they'll be in the box. In that box. Okay. Uh, um, I don't remember who was doing Clifford. Uh, Possibly me. Possibly so. I think it was you, but we were weighing in quite considerably. Hey, I have a question. I think I know the answer, but I can't remember the yeah. sheet. I don't suppose that Clifford can just bam one lump. You have if your sheet. <laughs> yeah, you so have Clifford's sheet. I can't remember. Clifford does have a mega blink. But it's, I think the size larger. Uh, oh, shoot, uh, it's one other medium creature within yeah. five feet of it. So I don't think he can bounce yeah. mud lump out of trouble. No, his abilities no. do not currently are. He out. can do, do a bite. He can do a bite. <laughs> I think I think we know what he has to do. <laughs> do do we want him to bite Barry's mount or how is Clifford doing for health? Because my understanding is he's not doing bite. very well. Oh wait, I have Clifford's health. Uh, thirty nine. He's at thirty nine. Yeah. Mm. Do we want that guy or that guy? Who's looking worse? Which which? Um, one or two? Uh, Barry is looking worse. Barry, Barry Steed is looking worse. Yeah. Okay. Can he back Barry here? Steed's just gone. Um, that's true. I think we should go for Alan, personally. What's the... What's the Alan's also dead, that's just a mount. Sorry, yeah. this mount. We, yeah. I'm just referring to them as Alan and Barry now, even though it's Alan and Barry's mounts. Sorry, feet, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he can get to anywhere over here. Yeah. So he could flank, he could flank this guy with Mudlump for a literally where he was last time. He he went here, he flanked, he bamfed over there because to get out of damage mm. the danger, so he could bamf back and okay. then attack. I think he's, he's got the range to run in, bite, and then blink back. Now out. this is, I don't know how brave Clifford is, how we want to play him, but there's a possibility that if he stays there, this thing might turn around and attack Clifford next. And Clifford could probably handle it. Clifford could probably live. Whereas I don't know how Mudlump's doing, but I think that Mudlump's doing worse. Oh, not um, good. So maybe maybe if Clifford goes and attacks and stays, he can bait the guy into oh, yeah. attacking him instead of Mudlump. Mudlump is about quarter health. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So should we have Clifford stay here? That makes sense. Bite. Maybe, yeah. Bite. Bite this deed. Stay here, try and goad it into Ghost Man, bro. Who wants to roll? Do you want to? Go for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, running Belinda. Go so. for it. <laughs> Belinda currently uh, runs. Advantage from flanking. Uh, or he would have gotten pack tactics. Or pack tactics, yeah. yeah. Um, da, 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 plus. We need to start flanking. Oh, plus 10, 19. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, good bite. Uh, he goes, no, 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 no. One. Excellent yeah. child. Three. Oh, much better. Um, hmm. Eleven plus three is fourteen. Piercing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, is the target a creature? <laughs> yes, but it's mm. too large to be tracked. It doesn't say oh, that. <laughs> oh. oh, that's true. It doesn't specify. <laughs> it doesn't. Sorry. And you wrote that block. <laughs> It's too large to be done. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Okay. I would have given that to you a large creature, but not a huge creature. I've got a question then. Compromise. Can we, can we use the grapple at mechanics not to make him. Was it supposed to be like to um, fall prone? It was or to something? be knocked prone. Could we just you, do the kind of mechanics to see if this thing can get baited into going for him because he's being fucking annoying? Like a goading attack? Yeah. yeah. Um, ooh, uh, okay. How would we do that? There is a something for a goading attack. A Battle Master goading attack know, is a wisdom save against actual, the Battle Master DC. Yeah. And that is So me. it could yeah. be like his, his like trip DC. Mm. Um, so yeah, I will give you a bit of a choice with Clifford in terms of how you want to do it. In terms of if Clifford, Clifford wants to try and intimidate this creature. I mean, he is spooky. Or if he wants to try and trick it. And I'll give you a choice there between doing an intimidation 
check. Uh-huh. And I don't know, maybe like a I'm going to be bad at that. <laughs> survival? What's well, survival wisdom? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd give you those two if you want them. I'm fascinated by how either of those would be. Um, if, he, if it's a skill check, I think survival, because he's got plus one whiz and minus two charisma. Yeah. But we have the hive mind thingy, so he would have advantage for the intimidation. Would he get advantage for oh. survival? Does anybody else have survival? Um, I don't, I don't but I, do. I have intimidation. I don't. We're spending so much time on the dog's Does turn. Does have survival? Something with dog. <laughs> he's still the hive mind, there's three bees. So, oh, yeah. advantage at negative two or a straight roll with plus one? Um, it okay. depends what the DC is. But yeah. it is. Should we try intimidation? I think yeah. somebody else should what roll What would be more fun right. for you? If you Rolling if... more dice is always more fun. Then roll more dice. Yes, let's go for it. You, you should do, do one it. each. He's, one he's, each? He's, sure. He's gnawing at this guy's. This, this is this guy's. He's leg. so scary. Cheers. Cheers. Clank. Three. Fourteen. Minus two. Twelve. Twelve. Oh, I said the TC is twelve. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that this very large saber bear would start to spin round with its tusks and teeth and begin to snarl. <laughs> its tusks <laughs> occupy a whole medium square. <laughs> Too big, and I love it. Okay, and is Clifford gonna stay there? Yeah. Cool. Awesome, then it is Mudlump. This guy. This guy. Mudlump! Be on this thing that turns back the <laughs> faces on a rule of 5e, but go for it. Mudlump's gonna go for run. the one that's attacking him. Oh. That's fair. Okay. He doesn't get flanking. No. From the. No, yeah. the tentacle the gets flanking, but yeah. does not give flanking. Mudlump. Every time it happens, I have to say it just to make yeah. sure that I'm getting it. Yeah. 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 Mudlump did not go to combat school. He's a, He's a beekeeper! Dog. He. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> you were so ready to fight immediately, Bale. You're like, hey! Yeah. Fine, he's a Cyclops Bye. gardener, whatever. <laughs> to be fair, the only other beekeeper we know is Polly. <laughs> and I'm ready to throw down. So. <laughs> One of those hits. Nice. Get him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh god, I didn't get my dice ready. Why did I do this to myself? Mudlum. After Mudlum, it's Polly, I believe. Mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it should be. So Go please get your moves ready. Yes, ma'am. That's not the right time. Mm -hmm. That's not the right time. Oh, fuck it. Uh, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Nice. Hit him hard, my lump. Okay. Uh, Polly. I'm going to do something a little bit boring, I think, but these two guys are still looking okay-ish. Is that correct? Um, Barry doesn't look great. Barry doesn't look great. This guy's looking right. okay. He's look better. Oh, okay, right. I'm going to position... You can change it, uh, each creature. Mm -hmm. This thing isn't defined as a creature, is it? No. Okay, cool. It's a well, it's a it doesn't take damage, if that's the important bit. Okay, I'm going to scoot this. One along the uh -huh. the storm. I'm gonna move it one along, so that it's getting these two guys. But not mm. Clifford. But but not Clifford, and and I don't think it's gonna get Mudlump either. So it's what's the radius and again? Fifteen feet only. Um. So it'll like it's definitely got him. In it's it. gonna mm. get Mudlump. So five, ten. He's in that. Spot. But that would be a square. It's a radius. It's. Yeah, I don't. We, well, we did it for like stuff like this. Yeah, because so. otherwise you're being way overly generous, <laughs> which is very kind. I'd be happy to take it any other time, apart from this time. Yeah. Well, even a fifteen foot radius. Is there? That definitely doesn't go. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Um, oh, why is this orange in the dot red? <laughs> yeah, that dot actually disappears through this. Um, Grab like a little Thank you. Three okay, minutes. yeah, I'll basically give you that. the length of that triangle is fifteen feet. Yep. We're good. Um so Yes, so I'm gonna move it. I think that's a bonus action. Yes. And then as an action I'm going to change it from 
what it was was bee bats. Bee bats. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, so I, flavor. I'm mm-hmm. going to change it to um, bee birds. <laughs> what do the bee birds do? Uh, okay, so um, they are going to take a different type of damage. Okay. So it goes from necrotic, which is what it's been previously. It'll become slashing damage. Um, and they have disadvantage on attack rolls um, whilst within the thing. Okay. Um, so that is going to be very helpful. Okay. Yeah. They're fans of Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's terrible. That's negative abysmal. inspiration. That's atrocious. Ooh, <laughs> next three get off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am just, and I'm going to stay exactly where I am. Okay. Um, yeah, so a little bit boring. I, I guess I just turned over here and I just feel like, uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> tweak, tweak, move it, move it. But. Yeah. And now the problem in front of me. <laughs> I think that also th- this is this is a fun bit of flavor that I just thought of. Um, for for the fact that the different categories are bats, birds, or insects, I think that um, it's like all the bees are like a murmuration that turns into the shape of like a big version of that. So like it oh, no, used to be like it, a big bat, it. and now it's a big bee. <laughs> oh, sorry, a big bird. A big bird. <laughs> Um, it's like they've slightly misunderstood the instructions. Yeah, and when it's insects, they just go ape shit. <laughs> They're everywhere. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. So, so just a bonus action was to move it. Action was to change its type, and I, I'm not going to bother with my movement. I think that I, I'm fine to just. Well, maybe this thing. Yeah, no, I'm fine here. I don't, I don't want to share an opportunity attack, and I feel like I will. So I'm there. It's me. Also done. Uh, Belinda. Belinda. Belinda still has up two levels of exhaustion. She's a tad fragile. She was um, using her action and reaction to help you. She was. She was. was she would have to be within five feet, feet of you or the target mm-hmm. to do the action help. But yes. So it's up to you whether or not you want to move her or want to keep her vaguely out of the way. Uh, no, I'll have her pop down here. Um, she still has. 45 fly at half speed. Um, it is that. Uh, what is her fly speed? Is it 90? I think it's 90 for a Pegasus, it? yeah. Uh-huh. Um, it, that's how I remember it. I haven't checked today. Uh, but in any case, that was what? 5, 10, uh, 20. Down 30. Down 30. So, 1, 2, 3, down 30. Okay, so that's about, that's about 45 actually. Okay. There. Um, and yeah, she'll, she'll take the help action. Okay. I'll just look up. You got this. Oh, that's what I've written now. I've just written B E L after Polly. It's Belinda. Of course, Belinda. Bell. Who's Bell? Who's Bell? Uh, that's all for her. Wonderful. Pollyanna. Um, Pollyanna. Pollyanna. Well, layer stuff. Take her layer actions. Yes. Then it's Charlie. Oh, that could work. Do you know how cones work? How do cones work? Well, where does a co- does a cone start from the centre of your space? No, it starts from uh, your dedicated corner. You just pick a corner and that's where it goes from. Right. Okay, okay. Um, so it's trickier. Pollyanna is going to direct some three? bees to attack no, Charlie's mouth. No, it depends on what the no, 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 no. And then going to go for it. do a bit of damage. Actually, it doesn't look like it depends on this one, which is interesting. Mm. I'm wondering if I stand Yeah, because like, is a cone not always an equilateral triangle, so the angle will always be the same? It's not quite no, equilateral. No. It's the um, the width at the, at the tip mm. is, or the end is the same as the distance from the source. Oh. So its height is the same as its base. It works. It's a nice house, Elise. It is. It's nearly equilateral, but it's not quite. Screw your damage. We want to talk about geometry. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll just I do think, maths instead of D&D. It's fine. To try and fire a cone from here outwards <laughs> between uh, my lump and Clifford. What happened? No. No. We're not allowed to know. Yeah. <laughs> Alex is just carrying on the so combat without there. us. <laughs> oh. The layer effect well, did something. Something hmm? happened and did an amount of damage. I think it's, it's Conjure Barracks. I think it might be 60. 
It's 60. Yeah, I just okay, I just well, needed to get matter. through this Clifford Mudlump. 60 foot. It would work if it went from this corner what here. What are you discussing? Oh, okay. But she would have to get up into Millie. And not only oh, that, fine. it would I don't get know. him as well. It would get both of them. Yeah, so I, I would miss everybody else. I want to get both of them whilst avoiding Clifford. Yeah, Mudlump. so you'd have to go from there. Oh, I could do it from there. Yeah. Oh, sick. That would work, right? I think so. What? Because if you went one to over, then you're <laughs> dead. You're gonna... So, like, one, one I... leg of the cone goes pretty much like along this line. Yeah, I think that this would, like, from here, would skirt Clifford. Like, like yeah, would miss him. I don't think so. I think it's fine, but, but Alex yeah. would maybe have the final rule on that. Yeah. He's <laughs> just, like, slowly leaving. Slowly. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Charlie's um, doing something. Yeah, I What I were you discussing? I think from here is fine, in which case Belinda, or is yeah. it you that's doing that, or is it, it Belinda? Yeah. Okay, well then, yeah, you could do it from exactly where you are. No issues. Same. Do what? <laughs> Same thing I did last time. <laughs> Conjure Barrage. Mm. Alex! It's just a Stop making plans, we're about to kill your character. <laughs> I'm so tempted to steal your glasses. <laughs> I just, just that they're, they're really intrusive thighs. Sure, like, sure, fire. Oh, yeah, so you were leaning forward and it's like, your hair is really curly. I should just like, thunk. <laughs> fill it like a little spring. I Boing. have many a friend who does that. Yeah. Yes. I'm many a sister also. Your sisters aren't your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yesterday, I, no, was it yesterday? The other day I referred to, or I, I implied that I don't think of my students as real people. <laughs> They are imaginary AI oh, I, interfaces. I don't see a problem with this at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to need a... No. No, wait. That, that, oh, no, we'd like to try. No, Adeline just dies. A um, dexterity saving throw from Belinda, Adeline, and Mudlump. Oh, okay. Belinda, Adeline, and Mudlump. Is this a spell? Yes. It's really funny if they just do it. Was it a 60 foot cone? And were you just carefully lining it up in the exact opposite direction as what we were just doing? <laughs> no, actually, that's it. That would have been really funny. It, it's a I cylinder. Can roll for someone. Mudlump. Okay. Uh, I'm taking Mudlump, thank you. Bear Linda. Bear Linda. Uh, uh, Bear Linda is Linda. your resource to do what you like with. Yeah, if, if somebody wants to roll for Belinda, that's great. I, Go for Adeline it. has a couple Adeline of things. Adeline is busy. Um, she has two levels of exhaustion. <clears throat> I don't think that affects saving throws. Maybe it does anyway. <laughs> don't get our pony killed. Please. Where's her stats? Um, she's a regular pony. You're right, yeah. She's got disadvantage on ability checks and she's got speed halved. Where's mm. my coffee? I want to have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I put the bag away. How dare you? Uh, <laughs> Mudlump also fails. Oh, I won't. Okay. Anybody got a counter spell or a... None of you have no counter spell. <laughs> no, none, of none of us have counter spell. None of you have ever had counter spell. We need to get... Um, I might have a dispel magic, but I don't think that's helpful. Um, Belinda got a whole six. Whoa. So I think that passes. Whoa. Like, I've never heard those high numbers. I know. I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, just double checking if I can roll for... Uh, I, this is a spell. My mental spell just gives me advantage, yep. and I have a plus nine to deck saves. Uh, fifteen and eighteen for a twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay, twenty-seven is success. Uh, is a success. Uh, the other two are going to fail. What? You rolling a two wasn't um, enough. As this uh, twenty foot radius, forty foot high cylinder of ice storm oh, appears. Oh god damn it! In this area and like wipes out or any and all of the grass and wildflowers in that radius yes. as well. Oh, as all of that dies, they are destroying this ecosystem. They're trying to. That's so mean. Um, yes. So. Adeline, you will take half damage. Do you have any resistances? Uh, only... Radiant on the I think. Okay. Where the fuck does this live? <laughs> I need an answer. Uh, do, do your maths. I'll say, where the hell does this live? I'm ready. Oh. What's Belinda's HP just now? Uh, she's not taking any damage this combat, so she'd okay, be on. Okay, so just whatever four. Max is. What is Max? Yeah. <clears throat> I 
the default? Is it just the the, the default? Yeah, yeah. she has a default Pegasus currently. Cool. Uh, just radiant and necrotic. Just radiant and necrotic. Okay, so you, uh, Belinda and Mudlump are taking twenty three points of damage overall, a mixture of cold and bludgeoning. Uh, Adeline, you are taking half of that down to eleven. Cool. Okay, she's actually fine. Yeah, she's fine. She's gonna be gold cool, then. How's my lump? Very bad. Mm. Shit. Mm. He needs he to be. He's at a sixth health. Okay, well, how much damage did he take last turn? He, she took 11. He went from a third to six. He did so. not take 11. No, sorry, he took. You took 11. He took 23 and went from about a quarter to about a sixth. Uh, and then Charlie's mount okay. is going to go for Kai. I thought that's what the spell was. No, that was Charlie. Oh, oh God. Bastard. That was Charlie! Uh, so Charlie's mount is going to do two gore attacks against you. What's your AC? Uh, That's where it was. A number? 16 maybe? No, okay. it's not, it's 18. <gasps> Are you doing it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah? Do you have a reaction to do that with? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, 18. 18, okay. First one still hits? Bird. It's still 18. Yeah? Yeah. So the start of next round to the end of my next turn. Second mm-hmm. one is also going to hit. God damn it. it nearly made a difference. I'm very sorry. My, uh, <laughs> my version of this, of the use of the R band, was me yelling. I think I did. There were Duck. too many people. I was like, there's no one way to it. Like a millisecond yeah. too late. Like, you'd already been hit, and I was like, watch out! <laughs> my favourite thing that Reese does every so often is I'm about to do something really clumsy, or I've, I've done the clumsy thing, and she says, careful! And I'm like, thank you so much. <laughs> Love that. Is this just, like, bludgeoning or something? This is piercing. Warm? Okay, I can't do anything about that. So that is going to be a total for two, the, the two attacks for 40... Five points Eggs. of piercing. <laughs> me? Are you from okay? Two gore attacks. Ooh. Oh my god. Not to panic anyone, I'm on 24 HP. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. This is why I'm glad I'm not on the ground. <laughs> um, why do you think that's helpful? I should have climbed back up onto the beehive afterwards. <laughs> also, yeah, and that is their turn. Oh my word. It is now Alan. Alan is facing off against Clifford. So Clifford. He's going to roll, but he's rolling at disadvantage because of the birds. So what is Clifford's AC? Clifford's AC is... Oh, and he damage. 15. Oh, yes. Can I get the damage, please? 15? According yes. to a sample, 15. Yeah. Uh, that is 14 again. Nice. 14 points of damage. Also. Yes. This time it is magical slashing. Has, sorry, has the ice storm, has it persisted? It's it still... will last until the end of Charlie's next turn. Right, okay. Good lord. So first attack. Sorry, what is the number I'm targeting? Uh, you're trying to hit 15. Okay, we've got hits. Okay. Um, no, you two don't have reactions. Spent mine. Yeah. I believe you have a reaction. Mm-hmm. Second one is a miss. So, oof. Cool. Okay. So just one. You should be able to take this. Because you took, what, four gold on two hits? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, if it was two hits, I'd be worried about Clifford. But you take one. Uh, so that's 27 points of Oh, God! Down. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote it at the front in big so we can all see. Oh! Thank you. Oh, no. Well, that was Alan's go, and it's now Adeline. Uh, everything's going to pot around Adeline. Mudlumps. Looking shit, Clifford's looking shit. Clifford needs healing, Belinda needs healing, my you, mom needs healing, you need I healing. need healing. Um, <laughs> How are my healing spells doing today? <laughs> oh, I used my fucking sick level for, um, for wind Windwalk. Walk. We're having a short rest after this. Mm. Possibly a long rest. No, uh, no, short rest. Um, Madeline. Uh, these two are looking ropey ish. Uh, Barry doesn't look good. Alan's okay. Alan's okay. Um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the same. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go with what was planned together. Um, <laughs> I'll go with the kind of, kind of plan. Gonna cast conjure barrage again. Okay. 
uh, in a 60 foot cone starting mm-hmm. from the corner of my square mm-hmm. uh, and we were, we were think, figuring this out I believe if one leg of the cone kind of goes along to this line here yeah the other leg should it, just miss Clifford uh, yeah where is oh from here yeah. definitely will hit miss Clifford from mm. here it was a maybe from ah, okay. here it's fine yeah yeah so you're gonna hit these two no brother whatsoever okay. yeah it's just an extension of 30 foot isn't it uh, yeah, the angle will remain the same. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's yeah, a, I it, think you're good. Yeah, it's it's close. I think you technically clip the tentacle, but it doesn't. Oh, do yeah. Anything, you don't give a shit about the tentacles. The tentacles, the tentacles, 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 tentacles <laughs> <laughs> He just sort of goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I am happy with that. Please tell me what's going on. Um, staring at the bottom of a saber bear, um, the crossbow's still out. Still on, like... Clifford fl- whimpering in the background. Yeah, still on full auto. Uh, just that kind of, like, right, mud lump, Clifford, everything in the middle. <laughs> just hose it across. Uh, dexterity saves from both the mounts. DC 17. 17, okay. Uh, I got two failures. Woo! Baby! So you're a uh, black What's and gold that? dice. Yeah. It rolled really well for me last time. Do you want to try again? <laughs> I'm just going to steal that back at it. It was yeah. really good. Thank you, Cookie. You got me this. Okay, it's only 3d8, but yeah, it ain't bad. Hell yeah! Okay, uh, 18 magical piercing to each of them. Okay, cool. Gorgeous. I love that. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I have those spells as well. So that's your action? Yep. One, two, three, Bonus five, action, one movement. Six. Uh, negative on the bonus action. Are they both looking bad? Alan looks okay. Oh, Fuck sake, Alan. God damn it, Alan. Fuck off, Alan. <laughs> God damn it, Alan. Um, is my move? No, I passed the save on the yeah, ice storm, didn't I? Uh, it's still okay. difficult to rain, but mm. as far as I'm aware, that doesn't affect you. No, no, you're right, it doesn't. You don't do terrain? Uh, <laughs> difficult or magical terrain. terrain. Fine, I'm just nimble across top of it. Uh, I'm going to stay beside Mudlump and just hold my position. Ah! Uh, and But start shouting at everybody like, we can fall back, like we can, we can fall back if we need to. <laughs> mm, yeah, I mean, what's the, what's the effect that's happening with the... It's an ice storm, so it's difficult terrain. Just difficult to Just difficult Okay, to nothing else uh, damage-wise is going to occur from people yeah. getting through that. Okay. Bless you. <laughs> Sorry. Adorable. Is that everything? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, can I swap to a rapier? That's just like an interaction, just like stole the crossbow. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck did you have out? Oh, if you didn't what do you think they were shooting with? I didn't really think about that, to just be honest. Just throwing the crossbow bolts. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> sorry, oh sorry. God, I'm just... Such a funny character. <laughs> it sounds very Adlin. Just panic and start anything you have to hand. Yeah. Use it as a yeah. weapon. <laughs> it's random things. Mm-hmm. I love that as a mechanic. Yes, okay, mm-hmm. you're happy. Cool. Hi. <laughs> Yes. How you doing? I might heal myself. I think I'm gonna just. Sounds good. A little love cure wins. Oh, sounds nice. I forgot what to say. I'm not done. Uh, it's D8? Ten D20. <laughs> yeah, that sounds plus right. 40. A D8 plus your spellcasting modifier. Yeah. I'll do. I'll do a warlock one. So that's third level. So that's three mm. D8 plus charisma. Yes. <laughs> Charisma is four. Two. Three. Oh, sorry, I thought we just grab hay fever tablets this morning. Oh no! Mm. Should do that in a minute when we get to break. We'll we'll kill four. everybody here in mm. like a minute, and then you can go. Short break for me to grab hay fever tablets. And by a minute, I mean ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Ten more minutes. Which will be like three hours. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm at forty-eight. Okay. And then bonus action. Yes. You said Alan was looking all right. Yeah, it looks fine. How does... Uh, uh, Barry, Barry doesn't look Barry right. Looks okay, we'll whack mm-hmm. Barry. Okay, well, let's hit. Uh, you get advantage because of my bump. 16 plus things. Yes. Woo. 
Power of the Oh, it's cold damage as well, isn't it? It mm. is, yes. They've always been cold damage. I forgot. The last one was also cold damage. I forgot for that one. Okay. <laughs> Two cold damage. Thanks. So is that worm cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They're very frosty, icy yeah. boys. Yeah. Um, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet if it... If it wants to, to move leave. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. And do you want to move at all? Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what's really cool? The the tentacle is... Stop there. You're leaving engagement range there. Rude. Do you wish to do that? Mm. Come hang with me. Yeah. You, I'll... Mm. you have successfully worked out where the engagement range is of this creature, but yeah. You still have an AC of 18. That is something. True. Um, but it has a high... Yeah. They got two hits on you last time. It's a mall here. Mm. Yeah, I will clarify this is the engagement range of uh, the mount. Yes, mm. I, I assumed. Um, we'll go there and then da, da, da. No, I'll, I'll try Risky? and jump up onto the this beehive. Okay, cool. So I'm on the beehive, but I'm in this box. <laughs> and you're going to take an attacking opportunity. Shit, that didn't go anywhere. Didn't go <laughs> we don't need this no. dice. No, we don't, apparently. <laughs> Uh, he's gonna hit. Boom. Really a natural twenty, so Woo. you're kinda lucky there. Lucky. <laughs> you're so that is so face. many days. You're so happy. <laughs> She's in her element. She's thriving. Can I, do a I love making conflict for you, it's fun. You're yeah. very good at dealing mm. with it, so I trust you all to deal with this. Yeah. You can still rebarbs it before I the damage is declared. Yeah, I could. I have rolled the damage dice. Yeah, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. I, I have spells uh, Oh. I've already rolled all okay. die. I would have said you'd have to declare that before I even roll the first die to hit. Then roll your dice lower. Go. Oh, no, it's, oh, no, it's, no, it's, it's after, after the... You can't it has to be four. after. <laughs> it has to hit. <clears throat> all right, okay. It's, it's after the dice has been hit before you know the... Damage. Damage. That's yeah. a really weird interval. Yes, okay, you can do it if you want. Sorry, I forgot yes, for that please. one. Yes, please. So I'm rolling again to see if I hit. Yes. I'm going to keep that damage. Nat just three. in case. Just in case. Not yeah. three. That, it feels unfair if I re roll the damage because what if we get like, more damage? Yeah. That was a natural 20, so <laughs> you're still going to take the slightly not natural 20. Oh okay. boy, oh boy. Yeah. Sorry. Well, I mean, somebody gets advantage now. <laughs> cool. Um. Um, okay. You're mostly doing spells, aren't you? I am. So yeah. would not be helpful. I have the inspiration, so I'm like, sure. I should yeah. make an attack so I can at least use the D8, but I've not done that yet. Uh, 24 points of piercing damage. That is exactly what I just rolled in my. Pure wins. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you negated the hit. Yeah. yeah. It's basically like you moved and nothing happened. Yeah. Look. Yeah. Oh. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel so healed. Oh dear, it went away. <laughs> so for that whole turn, I did uh, one damage on this guy and used two spell slots to do that. Oh god. Ooh, it's okay. <laughs> it's Barry's turn. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Barry's gonna keep going mud lump. No. Oh, Barry doesn't know what it is. Disadvantage. Barry yes. takes damage first. Uh, oh yes. Nice. Let's see if I kill him first. All oh, sixes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, 15 is better than last time. Okay. Mm. 15 damage. Okay. Uh, first attack. Was that a disadvantage? It was a disadvantage. It's still going to hit. Um, yeah, protective wings. Do you have that back? Yeah. Do you have your reaction back? I was the bottom of the round. So I've had my turn back. Oh, yes. Sorry, yeah. I thought you did something in the meantime. No, of course not. Really. It's just been Kai's turn. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so that would put him up to... Plus four AC. Would put him to 18, which would be enough to negate that hit. Yes! Yay. I got you, my love! <laughs> I'm going to save you! <laughs> Second attack. My target is 18. Uh, no, it's only for the one attack that works one for. Attack. Okay. So the second attack is going to hit. Oh, oh no! You're disadvantage, but you did negate a natural twenty there again. So. Whoa. That's something. Yeah. Woo. Good lord. What was? It's a one. It's a one. It's a one. It's a one. 
<laughs> question I didn't think to ask until now. Mm. <laughs> if my mum goes unconscious, does she get death saves like us? You haven't had an NPC go unconscious yet. No, he's a party yes, we member. Have. Well, he's a party member, so he has different rules. And, and Mudlum is like NPCs family. family. Mudlum! Like, You've just met him. We just met him. He is a beekeeper. We're quite attached to him. That's lovely. And Molly I'm... is quite attached. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do maths here, guys. If we distract her, well, that's your fault. If you do that, I'm going to round yeah. down, and he's going to end up with less health. No. Oh, I see. <laughs> I was like, round down on damage. That's fine. No. Round down on my maths on working out mudlumps. Mudlump is really like, not looking. Literally, good. our very first combat on that. Um, boat when we were sailing to the island one of the pirates died like they went unconscious and they can, didn't get death saves mm. they just died that's true but they were less important <laughs> were they though they were still a person polly <laughs> we had talked to them as much as we've talked to mudlump if not more we... because we spoke the same language <laughs> <laughs> cool he bite i think i think clifford bite and then clifford blink away on this I think, one i thought he was being a distraction He's, oh, but he's on, on 12 hit points. Yeah. yeah. Bait then blink. Who wants to roll? Do you want to do a dice again? Dice each again? Yeah. Do we want to? Unless <laughs> a Clifford has a thing in a stat block that's, what is it, strength drain? Ooh, is that... It does slightly less damage. I would fucking that? love that. Yeah, this thing is definitely what strength What are you based. looking at? I'm looking at his stat book. It's his new one, remember? Because he, he, he... Oh, I don't know. He Where's the new one? It's in the chat, sorry. His angsty teen phase. I can look at the uh, new It one. reduces the target strength score, which means... He's not a teenager. It would be less likely to hit and less likely and do less damage. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I would be I would be up for that for sure. Because this white guy is beefier than this one. So, like, if it was this yeah. guy, I'd be like, nah, just do the damage, see if we can get him down. But mm. this guy, I think he's going to be up for a little while longer regardless. So might as well. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. Wicked. Let's do it. Okay. 11? No. 3? Uh, 21 to hit? Yes. Sook. So, do you want to roll that? No, you go for it. Okay, it's 2d6 plus 2 necrotic. Hmm. Yeah! Good uh, job. 2 fives. Uh, 12 necrotic. And this bear. Has its strength reduced, strength score reduced by two, which means it's going to have a minus wow. one to attacks and damage. That's really good. Can you remind yeah. me of the damage again, sorry? Twelve. Twelve. Twelve necrotic. Okay. Well done, That's Clifford. Clifford gets all magic on him. And then should we have him get out of danger? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just like blink yeah. him back to there. Yeah. No, that's into the... I mean, uh, going into it is fine. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, he can, he can also then move away, potentially, if he needs to. Yeah, if he needs to. Where, where do we do this is a bit of a, a thing, but could he not blink over here? Yeah, potentially. Because, like, the range of the thing, I mean, he could just blink to here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he could just but like blink back. Because it would be better to draw them this way if they want to yeah. go after him than it would be to draw them that way. That's a good point. Yeah. Should we put over here? I'm not going to do any more country barrage, so this space is, is safe. So he's safe there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he's right there. He's lovely. Okay. Arr, arr, follow me. And also that means that he's less clustered with you guys, mm. which would, yeah. so this guy cast anything, would be less likely to hit all four of you. Yep. Look at that! Look at that little smile. You've been all so tactical, I love it. Mm. <laughs> You're so good, it's great. Yeah, we're real good at this game. You <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I put the lights on. Mm. Lights. Lights. Camera. Okay, I think that's everything for Clifford. <clears throat> okay. Mudlump. It's, it's gonna go for Barry, because that's what Mudlump does. Yep. Yeah, Barry's looking weaker, right? Yeah. Much weaker. Yeah, yeah so okay. Barry looks like he's on his last legs. So first check. What was it good? I don't think. No, that's gonna miss. Oh, second, second attack is a natural twenty. Yeah. Hell yeah! You He's get that bear. Saving up all that energy. <laughs> oh. Okay. Can so. Mudlump have a how do you wanna do this? 
Even NPCs, it'd be me saying it to myself. You can come with yeah. Him. We're all rooting for Mudlum. Oh. <laughs> you guys have got so attached to him. <laughs> he's a he's a simple man trying to make his way in the difficult world. Just like, I just want my bees. I just want my bees. I want the farm. And leave me alone. We have We've all been there. That is more than enough damage to yes. take out that. Boom. As Mudlump Goodbye. swings his fence post into the side of this saber Whoa. bear and knocks it. He flies in that exact move. <laughs> Boom. Bam. Swinging for the fence. With his rider still <laughs> strapped onto its back, yes. Somewhere oh, that's more so, somewhere over here we hear him landing on Varro. <laughs> <laughs> Just a ah <laughs> Awesome. Um Mudlump is going to stay where he is. Uh, Polly! Um, okay, so that definitely helps me make my decision, which is I'm just going to bombardment of stings this, these two guys. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm going to do it at, I think, a fourth level. Wait, let me just double check. Yeah. Well, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this guy. I could do this in a fifth level. Fuck this guy indeed. Yeah, fuck Him this guy. Him in particular. Fuck that guy in particular. I forgot what that's from. It's yeah. really early in the day, so I am a little bit nervous, like, mm. reticent about using all these spell slots, but yeah, I just get this guy to call but him. fuck this guy in particular. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> so, Plumbarment Sings is a deck save, so I need deck saves from both of them. From both of them, okay. Yeah. Um, yes. Oh, sorry, is this misspelled? Yes. Yes. So Charlie, what what's my DC again? Sorry, what's the DC? Eighteen. Eighteen. Dex save. Dex save. Dex save. This is not helpful. <laughs> Why did they put them all the way down there? Okay, that's what I did. Okay, so we've got a failure in yes. Charlie. Um, okay, we'll start rolling. Can I have some d6s, please? Because I just don't. Ooh, Will yeah. has all of them. How many would you like? Three. A success. Mm-hmm. Only three? Can I have two you from sure you? Don't want one from you. Sorry, what was the dc again? 17. 18. 18. Okay, still a success mm-hmm. in the map, but a failure for sure. Okay, okay, we have got. Um, 12. So that's 24. 24 points of damage. Um, and then what kind of twelve? Um, it's a really good question, Alex. Wouldn't you like to? Uh, piercing. Um, <laughs> piercing damage, magical piercing damage. So, so uh, twenty twenty four for the 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 rider. Yes. And he is poisoned. And he is poisoned. And twelve for the mount. The mount will not take any. Ooh. Because it succeeded on its deck save. Does it have a, like, a specific trait for that? The, the riders have mounted combatant. So they've taken the damage instead? Uh, I don't believe so. I don't think it just gets negated. It definitely goes nope. If your mount is subjected to an effect that allows it to make a dexterity saving throw to take uh. only half damage, it instead takes no damage if it succeeds on a saving throw and only half if it fails. Mm. Wild. Yeah. Mm. This, is, this is the mounted combatant fee. Interesting. Niche, so, but... Yeah, Handy. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I was checking it when Isla was doing things, but it's mm. dead yeah, same, so like, gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Gives okay, the well that's good to know it just for keeps them out alive for a bit longer essentially. That's that yeah, it makes a lot of sense. That is good to know for future. But I'm glad he's poisoned. Yep. That's really good. Um what does poison do again? Disadvantage on stuff. Lovely. Attack rolls and the like. Although he's been casting a lot of spells, so it might not be the most useful for him. Awesome. Is, it, it is, is anything yeah. else from the body, sorry? Um, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Ooh, and ability checks. Thank ability you. checks. Ooh, good to know. That is good to know. Anything else? Um, what have I got for bonus action stuff? So I was thinking about <laughs> moving this thing here. What are you laughing at me for? <laughs> Just the concept of bonus oh, yeah. action. Concept. I have a bonus action. Mm. Yeah. Um... I don't think I want to do anything bonus action-y, really. Do you um, want to move? Can I use my bonus action to be like, nah, 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 
a little bit. I, like, taunt it? I just because I just don't want Kai to be taking a bunch more damage. Mount or Rider? Um... I feel like the rider is more sentient than the mount. I, I my answer is going to be yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. their general. I direction. think mostly mostly the mount because I think the rider is smart enough to be go targeting groups and stuff like that. But if I can get the rider too, that would be bad fucking fantastic. Uh, I'll let you pick one. Okay, then I'll go for uh, the the mount. Okay, how do you want to do that? Do you want to try and make yourself a target like Clifford did with his intonation, or like what do you want to do? I throw, um, like, object interaction, just throw one of my rocks at it. Like, <laughs> and, like to aggravate it. Yeah. An intimidation or a persuasion, you would have advantage. Um, mm. You can do intimidation if you like. Um, sure. If you want to try and, like, deceive it as well, I don't know, for things like that. No. I, no. I think that intimidation... Maybe uh, animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to try and get it on my side. <laughs> Uh, no, I'll, can I do an intimidation? Yes. Can I try and goad it? Um, this is perfect. Weird, because it's like animals from other realms are ne- never usually classified as like beasts. Those really good. I'll take that six. Yeah, six um, is better than that okay, one. Okay, so that is an eight. Wow. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen is enough. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bardic and advantage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double that. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is mostly so you don't get hit, so also you're yeah. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome. Um, can I get Belinda then, please? Um, I think Belinda would just stay and help Adeline. But I don't know, do you think she'd do something different, given that she's now like in this like, storm to batter in her? Um, can she do... Oh, oh well... Can she... I plan on attacking with my turn um, from a square within five feet of her, so help would not go amiss. You have an advantage from the Silver Barb still. Do. Yeah, so that's for a minute. So help is unnecessary because you've got the advantage. Yeah. Do you um, get two attacks? I get, I get two attacks. I'm planning on casting Zephyr Strike, which will give me advantage on one attack, so. You'd have three ways of getting advantage. Yeah. So you're, he- you're so help would be overkill at this yeah. point. Can okay. She's a medium creature, right? Can she help? Uh, yeah. She's a large she's creature. She's a large creature, and yeah. he's gargantuan. Is he, is he's he, huge. He's huge. So he's one step up from large. Yeah. Can she help Mudlum? I would literally be like, can, could she like drag him out of there? Could she get him to just? Fucking stop fighting. So she's thing. at half speed and yeah. then half speed again. Yeah, it's not so. Good. She's at ninety. Usually, she's at forty-five to half 20, to twenty. To twenty. Yeah. And then to drag mud lump, it would be half again. Yeah, it's not worth that. Just but. ten feet around. She'd have to spend at least five feet to step Somewhere, forward. Yeah. So she'd only be able to drag him five feet. Yeah, I wouldn't get him out of anywhere. Okay. Uh, maybe we should just give some of the help action then. I think help. Mud. Yeah. Yeah. Where would she? I'm just loath to like. Here? I think this thing's got a lot of reach, and I think she might be about to leave it if she. Yeah, goes yeah they too have step forward, then that's fine. She's not left it smelly at all. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, that that works with what yeah. I'm about to do next. So, yeah, Belinda will talk about You guys are real tucked in together. Yep. Which is terrifying, <clears throat> but. Stop wiggling your eyebrows, woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when I was going to the shop earlier, there was a woman just stood in the street bleaching her eyebrows. eyebrows. Bleaching her eyebrows? <laughs> As in, in the street doing it? Or just like no, like, up? she was just stood in the street with bleach on her eyebrows, not going anywhere, oh my not God. on she the phone. Be like, one, like, getting a bit of air for one of the beauty maybe, shops. Maybe, maybe. And she was so. just stood in the street. Wow. Like, good for her. Is that yeah. everything from Belinda, sorry? Uh... Help Mudlum? Yeah. Help Mudlum. She'll rock up there and help Mudlum. Can you give me a roll. Thank you. It was a five. Mm. Oh. I like the tattoo. Thanks, it's great. <laughs> it looks wonderful. It was the Glasgow 2024 logo a uh, week ago. It was. It was <laughs> a guy. No, like 
those are that's the planet. Okay. So okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the eyes. Oh yeah. That's the side of the face. That's the top of the head. I see what you mean. Yeah. I see what you mean. I think she's gonna focus on Charlie's mouth again. That okay. half of it came off really cleanly because I fell asleep with my arm on my stomach and I woke up and I had half a tattoo on my stomach and half on my arm. <laughs> That's pretty weird. It's very sweet. <laughs> it's like the uh, the two halves of a heart best friend. I guess it's your, your it's arm just and your stomach. Me. They're best friends. It's going to be Charlie. All right, Alex. Life is Abbott. Charlie. Oh, I've spent my reaction again. You yeah. have. Have we made a Charlie the Unicorn joke yet? No. I literally was thinking, we're going to get a to Charlie. <laughs> oh, you're so Charlie. nicely clustered. We are, but they we are. like modeling. And also, look at these two! Look how nicely yeah. kind of clustered Also, I think a pain in the arse. She, yeah. But Margaret Stings saying. was the last thing that hit Charlie. Also, presumably... Not to really fuck up my own shit, but like this is a caster who knows that I must must know that I'm can- concentrating on the spell. Yeah, he's also got a mount to like throw at you. I mean, and the mount is being intimidated by her as well. Yeah, <coughs> you are probably about to get munched on. That's fine. That's fine. I have like a hundred hit points. Hi. Charlie's mount is definitely gonna go for you. So yeah, that's fine. <laughs> First attack. Now I am ten feet up. It's a huge creature. Okay. I do have to check. At worst, it's going for your ankles. First oh, one is a hit. Oh god, your ankles. Ah! ah. Uh, second one is an actual 20. Ooh. Owie. Okay, I might actually lose concentration on this after all. We'll see. Oh, do boy. I have any fun things that I can use? I don't know. Are so. time? Pardon? No, might be in time. <laughs> I, I don't think I do. I'll check. Uh, okay, so I'll do the first hit, the not natural twenty first. Okay. <laughs> so many dice. Yeah, but they're all ones. So it's fine. Yeah. Uh, twenty-one points of piercing damage. Okay, no worries. Oh, that's not actually that bad. And can I get the concentration check? <laughs> I just did. <laughs> <laughs> you do. How many minus are you? Uh, no, I accidentally put myself up to 9,021. 9, <laughs> <laughs> Four digit hit I, points! I put, I put the 21 in the current instead of in the damage thingy, and uh, I'm on 90 at the moment. Right. Uh, 69! Nice, dude. Uh, okay, uh, I'll Concentration my, check. For that yeah. Phase, which will be uh, ten? Ten. A 10. 10. We round down. So. Yeah, I'm fine. Cool. And then the natural 20. Oh my god, that was the natural 20. No. Oh. This is probably going to be about... It's like oh my god. 45, 50. I think it's going to average about 50. Mm. I think it'll be Which is 42. Be a, I'm thinking yeah, DC I'm 25 25 concentration. 39. Mm. That's she rolled, like, optimistically yeah, low. Yeah, she rolled like dog shit. Are you trying to interrupt the maths? No. Oh. Well, I should stop. Yeah, no, we should try. Three, seven. No, she's gonna add numbers. <laughs> I will also always do it pessimistically if you Woo! be dicks like that. Yeah, uh, it's forty-two points piercing. Oh. Okay. Okay. So yeah, uh, I was exactly correct. That was really good. Inspiration for Isla <laughs> for being psychic. Mm. Oh wait, what did I just do? Oh, you're taking off forty-two, but I don't know what you just and did. And then I need a concentration check for a twenty-one. Oh. Yes, I, I took off twenty-one because in my head I'd have to for the concentration <laughs> check, so I had to take off another twenty-one. Okay. Um. Okay. So I have. Let me just double check something because I think I fucked up earlier. No. Oh, okay. I didn't fuck up. Okay. Uh. Okay. So I got plus seven modifier. DC 21, so I need to get a 14 or higher. Correct. Neat or beat, so yeah. 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 I can do that. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Perfect. I and give 22. the caster the finger. It <laughs> snarls <laughs> down at you. You still have birds or bees or bats. Yes, or... I flip him the bird, and then this murmuration also turns into a big little thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so that was his metal. Yes. It's now him. Yeah. Um. But he has decided that you three are all too delicious. But I'm so annoyed. <laughs> So's Polly. <laughs> <laughs> she gets it for me. This is why she's a self insert. <laughs> hmm. 
sure at some point in the DD career, everybody goes, What if me is hot? <laughs> what do you mean? Excuse me. No, what no, are doing? Yeah, obviously, obviously. Look at this. <laughs> what if her, but no glasses? <laughs> that's, that's the big difference, is. <laughs> yes. We live in a pre glasses technology. <laughs> <laughs> she still has your eyesight, just no glasses. <laughs> yes. Okay, so he is going to chuck an ice knife at Belinda. Ow. You dick. Disadvantage. Money. Because of poison. Mm-hmm. Yay. And also because it's a ranged attack. I Ooh. think he's still technically in your melee. Uh, I'm a little iffy about uh, that. But you, you yeah, he's within five feet. If it's, a, if it's a ranged attack. It's a ranged yeah. attack, but it really depends on where the fuck he is on that mount. Mm-hmm. But I'm not yeah. doing that math, so he is. But he's still at disadvantage for poison anyway. Yeah. Whoops, it is. That one's cocked. Mm-hmm. Didn't know that it could do that. I think it's just on the you didn't know it could do that? Not on a flat surface. <laughs> oh, that, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's no like. Uh, Belinda's. Um... On the glass, it is at 12 <clears throat> for a Pegasus. Oh, uh-huh. Which guessed is correctly. Which is not a lot. Right. Well, I can't help. I don't think anybody's got the reaction at this point, so nobody can help. No. Except Belinda, I believe. <laughs> She ain't got no reactions. It's gonna hit. She's in telepathic bonds. She can she can reaction give people advantage on attacks, but oh, that's yeah. not really helpful here. No, it's not. Mm. No, it's not the so worst. I'm gonna need deck saves from Belinda, Adeline, and Mudlump. I will do Mudlump. Does Belinda have to do the deck save if she was the original target? The target yeah. and each creature within five feet of it must make it mm. must succeed oh, on the dexterity cool. saving. Okay. Do you want to do Belinda this time? I did her last time. Sure. This was a dexterity save? Yes. Against a spell. Against a spell. I believe she has plus Got four. Me. Let me double check. So the, the model... She saved. She does have plus four. Yeah. 22 for Belinda. 22 wow. for success. 23. 23 is good. Mudlump failed. Oh, Mudlump. Oh, Mudlump. The boy. Um, so neither you two are going to take any additional damage from the ice knife, but Belinda will take the original bit of damage. Uh-huh. Uh, two. She will take two points of cold damage. Aww. Okay. Uh, and then Mud Lump is going to take a lump of damage. <laughs> that was kind of funny. I guess. Uh, what was that? That's too much damage for just that area of effect thing. Damn. Damn. What level is he kind of? Is this like an eighth level ice knife? I don't even think that the damage scales like the area of effect one, does it? So with ice knife, the the original piercing damage doesn't scale. Oh, it's the, it's the area ice stuff. That's wow. gonna... So when you cast this spell using a second level spell slot or higher, the cold damage, which is the area of effect damage, increases by one d six for each spell level above mm-hmm. first. Copy that. How many wow. dice did it send? Like <laughs> good I question. I feel like this was a fourth or fifth. Maybe okay. what's the original? Two d six, three d six. Okay, my lump is on one HP. <laughs> Good lord! That was a scream. <laughs> I'm um, worried for my best friend. Yeah, and it's so Alan's turn next. It's now Alan. <laughs> Alan that got baited by Clever. He did. Oh, yeah. um, that Oh, Alan. Uh, Alan, Alan, yeah, maybe Alan. Maybe Alan oh, <laughs> uh, it's not my best. Uh, fuck. Eight. Eight. Okay. Did he die? No. So. I've been rolling 14, 15. Crazy. That's very... That's Is he good? Can he... I was the last one to damage him. Hmm. He has disadvantage as well, don't forget. Yeah, he... Yeah. Uh, Alan was the last person to damage him. Clifford goaded him. Clifford did goad him, but he answered the goad, so I don't think mm. that is still in effect. Mm. I am um, snack size. Consider. I am going to roll between you and Mudlump. <sighs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> that was a full body shiver you did. I've got another attached to this. Fucking Cyclops. <laughs> um, it's gonna go for Mudlump. No! But it's gonna roll a nat one. So it's, roll it's, fine. it's gonna roll a couple of nat ones. So it's gonna be fucking If Mudlump dies, the entire reason for this combat is. That's not true, because he's protecting his bee mistress. Mm. It's just that one of us might have to stay behind and look after her after this. Bye, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> nice knowing you. 
Uh, you have a secondary yeah. character rolled up, right? Yes, I was <laughs> <just> thinking of <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? That would be fucking hilarious. Okay, the first one's gonna hit. No! no! There isn't a way he can survive. Oh, God. <sighs> so Mud Lump is gonna go down. Rip. Mud Lump! <laughs> I forgot he was a cyclops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking um, love the Fomorian character model with like the one huge eye. <laughs> Leader Cyclops model now as well. Three. With a beekeeper helmet. Uh, and then Ooh. Alan is going to take his second attack uh, mm-hmm. against Atlan. Bring it. At disadvantage still. Alan and Alan. 17. Fucking hell. Mm-hmm. That was a natural 20 uh-huh. and a 19 on the die. Ooh! Wow. So. The die wanted to hit you, I'm very yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, Adeline is like full on throwing well, himself at his bear. Well, we're hitting here, so that's really good. Yeah, yeah. it wasn't an actual yeah. 20. <laughs> the, only crit I, the only crit that we've not negated is the one that fucking <laughs> God damn it. Um, yes? I just... Oh, okay, well, I was just <laughs> made uh, a noise. It is um, 18 points of piercing damage. Copy that. And then that is Alan's turn, and it is now Adeline's turn. Kill him. Um, <clears throat> how's Charlie looking? Charlie, Charlie or Charlie's Charlie. man? Charlie. 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 Charlie is looking not great. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's good. He's poisoned as well, so any kind of yeah. ability check things that are think done with him would get a disadvantage. Oh, yeah, it's perfect but I'm up and knocked him prone off of his mind. Oh, that'd be cool. Um, <laughs> this thing's got <laughs> really At least it's making, perhaps. <laughs> Are they <laughs> tied in? No, we, I mean, we've established how fucking precarious they look. We know that in real life they have to get glued off. <laughs> I can't imagine they're staying on well in the game. Um, Adam wants to just <laughs> throw himself at his bear. Uh, from Mudlump, but I think on balance reckons that the cats are still the biggest threat. Um, It's going to take five feet a move away from it. You're still... Which I believe is still within its range. But means I don't have disadvantage on ranged attacks now. Oh, clever. Is it within your melee or its melee? Uh, Within it, if anything is within five feet of you. It's five feet as opposed to oh, okay. melee attack range. Um, Thank you. That's all right. Uh, just enough clearance for Adeline to go for his crossbow. First thing he's going to do is bonus action. Zephyr strike. Um, we're, we're going all reliable here. Um, and he's going to raise the crossbow and take a shot at Charlie. Charlie, not Charlie's mount. Not Charlie's mount, no. Charlie, okay. Charlie in the first instance, yes. Okay. Um, with... The advantage from Zephyr Strike. Um, I'm going to be adding some stuff to this because I'm going to tag him with favoured foe uh, if this hits. Is this a is this a Hornet Ball situation? How about how badly do we want this guy dead? Um, I think that that might be a waste of resources, honestly. Okay. But, uh, but, but, yeah, but. he's already looking kind of. Oh my god. Double threes. Oh, um, wow. I mean, fuck after. Literally. So 14 to a hit? Thank God, that's a hornet bolt, like... Yeah, that would be nice. Um, okay, second attack, still against... Do you still have advantage? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I'll use my reaction and give advantage. Like, but let... You, silvery you don't, barbs you don't need down. it, yeah. I, I don't need it yeah. from you, is what I'm saying. Yeah, Zephyr Strike and Silvery Barbs, I think, were the yes. two ones. Don't need it from you. <laughs> <laughs> Your advantage is not good enough. Oh. Natural one. Yes! And a natural 20. Baby! Yay. Amazing. Um, right. Crossbow. Uh, z- I'm going to need to borrow some D8s if that's okay. Uh, many. Uh, oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Crossbow, Zephyr Strike. Favoured foe, I believe. I fucking hate them, so. I'm very proud of the paint job. They're beautiful. Mm. They are, yeah. Thank you. I know that they're currently attacking and killing you and all your friends, but I love the paint job. 
They are. They are wonderful. They're very lovely. Thank you. Take much satisfaction mm. in killing them. Mm. Deals an extra. I don't yeah. do like the tasks. I like how they can. Okay. Uh, that's, so it's going to be six d eight plus five damage to Charlie. Not great. Could have been better. We got a good enough. Sixteen. Starty here. Three. What's going on here? Uh, twenty-eight damage, mixture of piercing and force. Piercing and force. Okay. Yeah. That is going to be enough. <sighs> yes. Do you want to how you want to do this moment? Uh, I think it's just a uh, first one. First one goes wide. Feels himself getting a bit upset with my bum and everything. Just <sighs> deep breath. A thunk right through the faceplate of the helmet. Amazing. Um, limp in the and saddle. just drops him in the saddle. Um, and is then going to move back into engagement with uh, this oh. one, with this one, uh, and just get up on its face again <laughs> to what? try and keep what? it from <laughs> its face is like the size of your body. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it just gets right up in its face and roars at it. Amazing. <laughs> Against these tusks that are bigger than he is. Um, thank you all for the dice. Who, who I owe some dice to. Mainly that one. That one. And that one. Yes. One more. Smashing. Uh, that's how it's done. Wonderful. So we're back at the top of the round with Kai. I cast a healing word on that block. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So. Amazing. Wonderful. What level? Uh, three. Three. One. Two. Three. Really? No. Oh oh. uh, oh. Grand total of eight. Eight. Okay. Well, I rolled eight. two ones and a two. Oh. It's eight more than he had. Yeah. Hmm. See his giant eye flicker back open. Oh yes. yes. He lives. I'm gonna um, stand him up, but I know he's not actually. And then he prone. Let's do. Some Eldritch Blasts. What level are we at? 12? 12. Cool, so I have three of three. those. Love it. Amazing. You're gonna Huge. That is a M percentile. Um, <laughs> Please don't roll with percentile. Roll. Who is left? 76 Eldritch Blasts. We just, we just have <laughs> Charlie's Mount and Alan's Mount. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two um, mounts. Amazing. Let's start with Alan's Mount. Or not. Alan's is no. 17 plus stuff. Yes. And that is a D10 plus 14. 14, okay. Now do it again. And I'll use my silvery bars. Not 20. Wow. Hell yeah. It was in that one and then uh, not 20. Ooh, love it. Why do I keep picking up percentiles? Um, Because they look like details. They do. These dice are really cute, by the way, the blue mm. ones. That's um, 11, and then add the charisma on mm. once or twice? Once. One. Once. You double the dice, not the damage. Mm. The charisma is damage. What? Yeah, yeah. You, don't add, you, you don't, don't double, double the, the damage. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't double the fixed bit. So that's 50. Okay. That is enough. Yay! Yay! As your bolt slams Bam! into Boom. Alan. Fuck you, Alan. I like that he lived long enough to see that Madeline wasn't dead. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and then the last one can be for Charlie. Charlie Murray. 14 plus stuff. Yes. Kill him. <laughs> Five. Five. <laughs> okay. Minimum damage. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> you made the first one count, and that's what matters. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That was brilliant. Um, I'm good where I am, I'll just stay there. Okay. Um, okay, in which case, Barry is dead. Yep. Dave is dead. Alan is dead. Mm-hmm. Uh, Clifford. <sighs> um, One, two, three, four. I think he gets 50. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, 50. And he can, he can bamf as well. As and and he can bamf a further 40. He can get to here. 
Do we want him to be there? He can flank and he can attack with an advantage. The thing's already gone. It'll be my turn before it's turn again. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me what path he took there? Sorry, he can't so move directly through the crystals. Here, but so then he can teleport. Yes, that's fine. that's fine. So as long as he didn't move through yeah. the big crystals. So yeah, no. Mm-hmm. The also, spike growth is long gone, by the yeah. way. Oh, is it? Yeah, sorry, oh. I think that might have gone before the end of round two. But we just didn't grow the dots. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything moved past it. Yeah, we gave it. It served its purpose. It did a lot of damage, yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. And annoyed a lot of things. So, um, there's no limit on Clifford's strength drain <coughs> ability. Just do it again? Yeah, yeah. why not? Yeah. Cool. I was just thinking it would have been. It's looking kind of fucked up, but not very. Is oh, no, no, Charlie's melt's fine. Really? Oh, oh we got barely a barely targeted. Yeah, oh, we got that's a pile true. On. I avoided in the last thing. Yeah. Yeah, you you always right. focused on Charlie when you're yeah. on that side of things. It, yeah. It's just been catching a little bit of spell damage from area of effects. Okay, that's good to know, actually. Cool. So Clifford's going to roll advantage for panic tactics? Uh, and, yes. And or flanking? Uh, definitely panic tactics. I wouldn't have said that's flanking from that position. Um, I think I think he'd have to be one over for that, but he yeah. gets panic tactics. Cool. Oh, well, cool. he can move one over if he wants it, but... It's up to you. They just leave him. I'll move one over next time and I'll get flanking that way. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, who wants to roll? Quartet? Or Clifford? Uh, you guys go. Cool. You click One inch. Click. Yes. Nine. Nine. Twelve. Plus. Ten. Twenty-two. Yeah. Yes. So. No, 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 no. We do the same yeah. damage. It's a d6 each. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Aww. Strength ring. That's a six. Five. Awesome. Plus Amazing. two is 13 necrotic. And the drill's a d4. Okay. To reduce this thing's strength. Two. Two. Minus one to uh, strength Charlie's rolls. Charlie's strength. Okay. Score drops by two. Wonderful. As it goes... I think it's Clifford pretty tapped for a movement at this point. Yeah. <clears throat> That's fine. You'll hold steady there. Okay. Yeah. It's going to be Mudlump. With this whole thing. No, Mudlump, dude, don't. Mudlump, do you have anything ring? Don't go in. <laughs> Mudlump is Just going eat your to them. <laughs> use half of his movement to stand up. Yeah. He is then going to move. No, dude. It's oh, fine. And this is gone as yeah. well. Mm. Yeah. Throw the fence post. Uh, uh, Can he fit through the gap? Oh shit, how about uh, You can move through. Uh, 15? 15? 15, yeah. 15. Yeah. That's as far as you can go. And I think he's got line of sight around the crystal there, yeah. then. Um, <coughs> and he has got to throw a fence post. Yes, yes dog! <laughs> Get some! Because uh, he's pretty good with improvised weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Because he uses fence posts <laughs> and gardening tools. Amazing. I love him. Uh, Which one of these was the was the shed? Let's get him his ten foot pitchfork. <laughs> <laughs> was this a scythe? That would be lethal. That would be pretty cool to see. Okay, uh, Giant Grim that's Reaper. That's going to hit. Yeah. He, oh, uh, sorry. Can you tell me the distance? Holy dog. <laughs> 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, he's okay. He's okay. Cool. Uh, so that's going to hit and do a good chunk of damage. Where are all my d10s? Ah. Okay. Uh, he just whips a fence post at this thing. <laughs> yep. It's what he's got to hand. Love it. Adapt. Improvise. Overcome. That was a lot of dice. He... He rolls good damage. Mm. <clears throat> 31 points of damage. Nice. <clears throat> You're up next. That's true, that's true. Um, and it is Polly. Yes. Hello. Um, I cannot remember, <clears throat> but I am pretty sure because it would just make sense that I had my stinger out when these guys were coming because it lasts for fucking like four hours and we got a warning that they were coming. Yeah. So I would have... I just can't Do you remember. have a wild shape marked off? Yes. Uh-huh. So I'm assu- I don't think that I have wild shape because if we were just a, a 
when thing. Yeah, and I don't think you've got your familiar either. So yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I think I'm just gonna, like I say, I'm gonna scoot to the side. Well, if I can stay on the thing, then fantastic, because I'd love to have eye level. But if I have to drop down, for so, flavor, so you may good. have it. <laughs> cool. Um, and uh, I'm gonna try and stab this thing real good. Okay. Oh mm. yeah. Um, but I get flanking with Clifford. <clears throat> okay. It'll have lost its combat benefits, won't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, 24 nice. to hit. Yes. Wow. Why do I have a. Oh! I forgot. Wait. <laughs> Why do I have that? Well, I have a plus six. Oh, I got that magic eye on the distant lightning damage as well. Oh, the pearl. I forgot I had that. Well, I'm going to do some lightning damage, you guys. This is going to be fun. Okay, yeah. so I get to mm. do a d8. And a D6. Um, that is 17 points of damage, some of which is poison and some of which is lightning. I can break it up if you need. You do not need to break it up, and that is enough. Yay! Yay! As, ooh, do you want to do something cool with Polly and like, leap off the top of the hive into it? Yeah, absolutely. I think what happens is she kind of like, it like shuffles aside, she feels that she's losing her battle balance, and she's like, fuck it. And then she just like, takes it off. <laughs> <laughs> and just lands in a heap on top of it, and then it's like, yeah! <laughs> it's it's that she she falls she's falling she's panicking so she goes to kind of reach for something and just like her grapple her like hold is just stabbing it right through the face <laughs> like, with her stinger yeah, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> just sliding to the ground horrific I'm safe <laughs> oh yay <laughs> as the saber bear collapses next to you you're like oh yeah it falls on me I'm unconscious Whoa, <laughs> you're a little chap going help help I don't think you, you style it out as like an Assassin's Creed, you know, the stinger pop, so you dive off the roof, go for the I split my hair. Yeah. Yeah. But you can drop out of combat now if you want to. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mmm. Um, Dang. I am going to cast uh, Aura of Healing. Um, Love it. And so that means that I have. 10 lots of 2d6 to divvy out oh. um mm. and i think that you guys you're you're all pretty fucked up actually i i saw a peep of yours and you're not that bad i'm pretty good which is wild to me I'm literally not. i got hit like three times and and i'm at like a fifth of my health yeah um, yeah these bears did not fuck around yeah they were yeah stuck. i'm at a fifth <laughs> yeah Okay. Mud Lump and Mud he's not doing well, good, and Clifford is also looking pretty poorly as well. So yeah. the three, four of us are looking pretty bad. Shall we have a short rest just now as well? Yeah. Once things have like. You want to do down. the short rest first or after? You cast it. After, I mean, after I think is fine. Spell and short rest. Well, mm. yeah, you're right. The D six are different. Yeah, we'll play. It. We'll do short rest first. We'll play it by mm. ear because I don't know how you guys are going to ha- heal up proper. Little song of rest, you get an extra D six. Nice. Okay, I didn't mark that off. So we're fine. D8. Good stuff. I'll do Belinda's hit dice for this. So I think as the haze of the battle dissipates mm. a little bit, there's a moment of stillness as everyone pauses and sweeps around looking for the next enemy. And there aren't any more. Nothing else appears from the trees surging towards you. Uh, if our means of conversation is still up, I'd like to ask Mudlump and Pollyanna. Is that all the ones that have previously attacked this place? Has there only ever been kind of the four of them and their steeds? Uh, through the conversation tunnel loop thing that we're having did to it, do. Did it, did it, did it, did yeah, it. through Belinda, poor Belinda. Um, I think Mudlump would tell you that 
he has no idea. The riders always look like that, but they come in batches, mm. not always four. There's always more. You would think and say yes. Ooh, okay. And you see Pollyanna uh, would buzz up out of um, the, what had been like this swirling mass of bees in the center that she was sort of controlling mm. and, and using to protect her home. She would settle them back down and you see they would start to disappear. And you see there'd be a lot of, and I think po uh, it would be Polly that would notice this the most, a lot of like lamenting and sadness as mm. another large swath of the meadows have been destroyed during this attack. <laughs> so another little bit of their home is oh gone. Oh dear. That's no fun. Poor things. Um. But Leanna would zzz down and land on Mudlump's like, shoulder and just mm. like gently nuzzle. Oh. I tell Mudlump he fought well. He clearly you know, cares a lot about these hives. Um, but I wish, well, I've, I've known warriors that didn't fight with half the conviction you did. You nod slowly. Thank you. Mm. This, this is my home. Mm. It is their home. It needs to be defended. Mm. Uh, and he would go and he would pull the fence post that he was using as a weapon out of Charlie, <laughs> uh -huh. nice. which is a bit morbid, but it's true. But I mean, we start one up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you'd see, you'd immediately set about to like picking up all the bodies and dumping them outside of the um, the bubble, and then start taking the fence post as you were all short resting and smashing the ice crystals once more with the fence post to try and break them apart. Just gonna let him do, let him do that. I don't think we're big enough to <laughs> <laughs> pick up a fence post and go to town on these. Mm. Um, damn. Is there anything that you could do for this place? I don't know. I don't know if you're good. With, you're good with plants. I'm good with Bees plants. That's stuff. true. I mean, I could, I could grow some plants. I got my staff of flowers. In fact, um, yeah. Let's have a wee look, see if there's anything cool that I can do beyond just grow some flowers. We're keeping a track of how many hit that we're using. Mm -hmm. I forgot I had a... I did my hit die rice, but I'm correct, but I forgot something that would have been helpful if I had been strategic about it. Um, no, I mean, I don't have anything like proper magic key that is helpful beyond just and song of rest gives a d6 is it yes oh my god i forgot about that yeah yay okay i'm looking far better thank you so much cool pulling this back up. i might not need to do aura of vitality it seems okay okay Ooh. Uh, is every uh, is anybody rolled for Clifford as well? Oh no, Ooh, no. I didn't think. Uh, what's his D D eight? Clifford has a D eight hit die and plus two con. Yes. And is on twelve, 12. of oh. sixty five. No, oh. roll a D eight each. Yes. Mm -hmm. Two. Also two. Seven. Okay. Yeah. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, plus six. Is seventeen, so twenty nine. Twenty nine, with three of ten hit die spent. Mm -hmm. Should we give him a bit more? Yeah. Another three. Yeah. Yeah. Eight. Four. Six. It says eighteen. Eighteen plus, 18 plus six, six is twenty four. That's good. Fifty three. Nice, that's much better. Oh, 65, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy Oh, uh, plus a d6 from some of the rest. Okay. Yeah! Hell yeah! Amazing. He's looking much better now. What's the 31? Where? 
Oh, that is, that's a straight line. It's like three oh, hit dice. That was three hit dice. That was three hit dice. I understand. I understand. Oh, boy. Yeah. I sent him exactly. Yeah, I think my heart rate's come down after that combat a little bit. <laughs> Yay! That was, that well was done, I was really worried that Mama was going to die. Yeah, then he can't tell us anything. Yeah, we had to deal with him. <laughs> I have a shocking lack of healing spells, but it was just because I fully thought this day was going to go very different. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yeah, yeah it'll be fine. We woke up, we wind walked to this lovely clearing. Yeah. Spent a little bit of time waiting on these things, so... Mm-hmm. You did a couple of bits of battle prep. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's a bit of battle prep. Yeah, but, but we did the yeah. thing. We 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 held our side of the bargain, mm. which mm-hmm. means that we can um we can get our intel from mm-hmm. Mudlump mm-hmm. on the collector. Yeah, well, let's give him some time to work out his mango on the ice crystals. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Come yes. lots of smash. I'll go back to doing the the little melty thing actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll do the little mm. melty thing. I'll use the stuffed flowers to like fix up some of the beds. Oh. Um, and mm-hmm. <laughs> can you help the bees? Yeah, can we help? Is Pollyanna out and about? Is she okay? She's sort of directing her bees. She looks really worried and concerned. The, like that was another lo- very large swath of their home that just mm-hmm. got destroyed, mm-hmm. which was a mix of hives and the um, the wildflowers that they depend on for. Uh, pollen and things like that. Mm. If she's directing her bees, presumably she does know bee dance, at least in their dialects. Yes. Which means mm. that I can communicate Ooh. with her. Ooh! You can, right? yes. Okay, can I check I in? Can I go and then just kind of like touch base and make sure that she's like, like obviously she's 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 a boss lady, but she might be worried about mudlam. She might give us some more intel about like if we should be like expecting more of these individuals to show up, that kind of type of stuff. Okay, um, sorry. So what do you want to ask her first? If she's okay. Hey, are you okay? Oh, that's that's very sweet of you to ask. Forgive um, my accent. I boogie. <laughs> yeah, where are the dance moves? <laughs> I, I wiggly my eyebrows ferociously. It's like that one kind of very sad for I can't do that. I can only do that eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have no control over that eyebrow. <laughs> I can only do my right one. Between Try us, we have a pair of eyebrows. <laughs> Between us, we can do the dance. Pair of eyebrows. <laughs> um, but yeah, do interpretive dance because you don't speak Sylvan, do you? No, no. And she would say, "That's very sweet of you to ask." It is sad to see so much of our home destroyed again, but yeah. it is good to see that we made some headway with the raiders this time. Usually, Mublump can only drive them off. He doesn't and now they're dead. It is sad that they are dead. I don't think it's sad. They were dicks. Who are allowed to say that? I would prefer to believe in a world where death isn't necessary. Me too, but folk like this, they make it a little difficult. And they certainly did. I had always hoped for a different resolution. But now I must focus on my hive, um, and when Mudlump is less angry, make sure that he is healed. We will probably feast tonight in a celebration. Interesting. Ooh. Would you be we interested love in staying? We are a big fan of food. Obviously, myself and my bees won't be eating much that I believe is edible for yourselves. That's understandable. But Mudlump usually hunts before a feast. Is he food cook? I don't eat his food, so I don't know. Oh, that's but fair. He never complains about his food. That would be weird. Imagine being like, damn, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> After every meal. <laughs> I mean, I think that's quite normal, actually, isn't it? Really? Yeah, if you make food that you're like, god damn it, this is terrible. It, yeah, I suppose doing it regularly would be weird. I don't know, I regularly make quite shit meals. <laughs> Because I keep experimenting with shit. <laughs> right, it just didn't fucking work. Um, and Pollyanna would also say, um, Amador is usually about as well. Who? Although I haven't the, seen the, um, dandelion. Oh, the dandelion. The dandelion night. If the dandelion is a turncoat this entire time, it's actually been feeding information oh, to the thing enemies. That would be, and we have to kill dandelion. She's so funny. Reap the dandelion. Yeah. <laughs> 
he's a dead guy. He's a dead guy. He's a sentient dead guy. I wish folk. you were dead. And then we blew all his little things away. Yeah, so somebody told us. We've not met any of these people. We've not people, met them, but we? they didn't we talk to them. We knew that they were about. Oh, boy. We knew that you my mum was friends with yeah. one. You knew there was a village of them that you passed near Wish when you first came into yeah. the Fey Realms. And then uh, Pollyanna and Mudlump have mentioned that there is a dandelion knight that stays with them. Yeah. yeah. Copy that. He's not blowing his weight in this fucking fight. Mm. He uh, hasn't been knight. present, apparently. Is that concerning? Is that coach. like. Uh, the, do you expect more of a presence from him? Is his ad- absence notable, or is it just kind of like, yep, yeah, that's what he's like sometimes? He does go ranging quite often. Mm-hmm. Um, he's been looking for help frequently. Oh, recently. like 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 uh, the bees game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't. He doesn't usually tell us where he goes. Mostly mm-hmm. because we tell him not to. He's very small, and we don't want to get trampled. That's understandable. <laughs> Knight is small and easily trample. Yeah, I'm sure well, so he's very good against other dandelions. Guys. Yeah, to be specific, the dandelion knight is about a foot tall. Oh, That's really cute. Ah, like, ah, that's, ah. that's like, what, this big? It's he's like a sentient dandelion. Yeah. <laughs> right, not like... That's a pretty big dandelion. It's quite big. Yeah, that's big so for a dandelion. Like, like, uh, well, when you consider the roots. Yeah. As well. He a little walks yeah. in his roots. <sighs> I um, see it. I see it. Yeah. Words. It's like a little twenty battle master fighter as well. I'm just imagining <laughs> a, foot, a foot tall. Okay, I don't. The have blade of here. grass <laughs> is his weapon. Kai is irrigating the soil so that you can grow flowers more easily. Oh, that's really nice. Mm-hmm. Is this this crying or? <laughs> is it, oh, is irrigating help. not moving soil about to make like water channels or something. I don't. Yeah. Irrigation is like feed it water, yeah. So sure. Like Digging a little kind of. I don't know. You mean tilling? I mean tilling. Okay. <laughs> I don't know anything about farming either, to be honest. I thought irrigation was to do with water. So did I? I couldn't remember very hard. Mm. I'm, th- they're doing the thing where you turn the soil over mm. from tilling. fresh soil. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't pre- haven't prepared it today, but I could tomorrow. Use communion with nature to try and find your friend. Oh, mm. um, if if you could, he communion with nature. Um, that would would give you what? Sorry. Um, it's the within um three miles of you, you can gain up to three facts of your choice. Mm. Um, so I would ask where he was. Not to rush, folks, but I would like to get the um. The thing about before I'm cursed for all eternity. Oh my true, god, yeah. yes. Okay, right, we do have more pressing We are on I'm so a sorry. time limit. Yes, but I, and it does seem like we have kind of fulfilled our part of the, of the not agreement. Because, not that we think this is entirely mm. transactional, don't get me wrong. I'm very, very, very invested in you having like a space here that is well defended and consistently defended. However, my buddy is going to be in a real heap of trouble if they don't get this. Try to pack real quick. Okay. Um, so would you be able to share some information about the collector with us as you promised? Yes. Yes, of oh. course. Amazing. Um, do you want to stay for the feast? In front it of might food? not be the wisest. We've already been here for how many hours? Um, there are a few. We've had one long rest since we got here. To the Feywild. To the Feywild. Yeah. We've had a long rest. You stepped that's... through the portal and long rested, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's the Feywild, sorry. Yes. To you. And then we got here, we talked to the bees, um, we waited about yeah. for an unspecified amount of time. Yeah. I think it was a couple of hours. A couple of hours. So what, we're probably in like our fourth hour now of the day? Yeah, with Windwalk, I think it only took you did not take you long no. <laughs> in the morning because it would have been a four hour walk it's about now that the bees have shown up again the uh, the ones <laughs> that we find and we're like we're coming <laughs> and they're like oh <laughs> there's bodies everywhere <laughs> like, oh my god I'm asking <laughs> um okay well that's uh, that means that maybe we shouldn't stay the night because we've got four more hours yeah we could we could cast like a little key object we could try and find Varro. yeah and we could try and like like i say chase him with using the wind walk and then like 
intersect them. Because we're fairly sure Varro was on foot, right? Yeah. And it was a three day. Yeah. I think we can take that. Yeah. Probably like confident we can do that. Yeah. If we staying would cost us a lot. If we yeah. catching him before he gets to the collector is probably big. the easiest way so to big. get it back. Yeah. Yeah, and that would be one less problem that we have when we go to deal with the collector. We still need to. We can literally go intercept Vero, get the trident, come back here, get like, like, kind of like get a lay of the mm. land and stuff, yeah. and then go to collector. But yeah, you're absolutely right. The trident is like super important. Mm. So we should probably do that first. So I, with the, with with my deepest regrets, I don't think we're staying for dinner. <laughs> That's very fair. Uh, I'll get Madlump's attention then and okay. ask him to come over, and we'll tell you what we know about the collector. By our maths, is it roughly lunchtime-ish then? Yeah. Sounds about right. You are approximately um, four hours into this day. Five so hours. Wait, how long did we travel? If you woke here? up at eight, you spent. Half an hour to an hour doing random prep and travel in the morning. Yeah, yeah. it did not take us long at all. No, the, no, but I imagine you rolled up your bedrolls and you ritual cast a few things. Yes, taken a couple, that's of, true. Yeah, just a couple of attempts. Uh, so that would have been about an hour. You then waited for, I can't remember, one or two hours for the ogres to appear. Mm-hmm. And then we just had a fight. Yeah. So it's about midday. Yes, yeah, it's midday existed. It's midday existed. Midday. That is the slight problem of yeah. I don't want to tell you it's midday because it's That's sunshine and concept. delight the whole yeah. day. <laughs> Our tummies are rumbling for, for lunch. Mm. It yeah. only kind of got like dark last night because the had an clouds gathered for that thunderstorm. Yes. It was like a daytime thunderstorm. If you've yeah. ever seen one of those really glorious daytime thunderstorms. So cross. I went to Florida as a kid and I loved it. <laughs> just, just the thunderstorms. Okay, so what are we thinking? Talk to Mudlump about the collector. Yeah, yeah I think so. so. Do you know? the... Yeah. Can you cast spells while you're being a cloud? No. I don't believe so. I think the only action I can do is come out of being a cloud. Mm. Or dash, I think. Or so dash, if you... yes cast locate object would it still would the spell still be up yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You just no, can't, it's object. like well shape it's like mm. you mm. just can't cast whilst you're in that form yeah okay. so I can yeah you'll have to check the duration of, of locate object is of any spell that yeah. you want 10 minutes to do that. or something 10 minutes yeah, yeah. yeah. so you, it uh-huh. takes a minute to change form I think you said yes yeah. so you'd lose a minute of that but if it's a minute if it's 10 minutes to an hour then it should be fine mm. or at least it would give you a lot of that time. yeah so we could do some tracking of Varro first, between like fi- get, picking back up with his tracks, mm. flying off in that direction on the wind walk, thinking we're, we're getting so, close, dropping out, we locate objects, zeroing in on him. Nine minutes. Mm-hmm. I mean, nine minutes is fucking. We could like so. What's it? Nine minutes of what? It's like seven. So it's like motorway speeds, six, isn't it? One six hundred feet. Yeah. So nine four nine three thousand six hundred feet in nine minutes. Out. 400 watts. That's a mile, I think. My, uh, yeah, it's about a mile a minute. Behold the maps. <laughs> okay. Wait, this is the bees. We're faster than that. Is that the bees? Yeah, mm. that's the bees. We have 300 feet. Oh, that's feet. how you... Um, um, mm. a, like, we have 600 it? feet a second. We need an Excel it's, spreadsheet. It's 100, it's 100 oh, feet right. um, a minute, a, a second. A second, yeah. 100 feet um, a, a second... Um, so that's five hundred forty hundred, so fifty four thousand feet. One How many feet, feet a second? Per 100. second. 100. In I mean, none of We're these like numbers mean anything to me. Sixty eight miles an hour, or just over a mile a minute. Sixty eight miles an hour. Okay, that's motorway speeds. Yeah, sure. So. So nine miles. We could get in a, in in nine minutes, which means yeah. so. Like get quite close. With detect with look at object like. Yeah. It just like was around, and that's got a thousand foot range, which is about a third of a mile, so we can make this work. We can spin around a couple of times, and we, like, it, mm. as long as he's in, like, a nine mile radius, <laughs> we're going to find him. Yeah. Okay. Because it's going to be able to point us in a direction as well. Mm. Like, yeah. As soon as yeah. you get, like, a nudge, you can yeah. follow it. Okay. But first, Listen. we want to ask Mudlump about the collector. Okay. Yeah. Tell us. <laughs> Pollyanna gathers Mudlump back up, and you can see he is. Calm down a bit. He, he leaves his fence post by the ice. Lovely. What is remaining of the ice now? Um, In solidarity, I start hitting it. 
with the staff. Yeah. He smiles, nods. <laughs> Um, and you can see he goes into his shed briefly and is digging about in there and he brings two things out. He's got this sort of like wooden structure that's got a bit of cloth like flapping about in the middle of it and then a wrapped up bundle. Oh. And you see he pops a bundle on the ground and then he snaps open a lounge chair <laughs> and pops it down in the centre <laughs> and sips himself back down. Oh. I love him. I love yes, so mate. much. For his lazy gardening afternoons. It's so nice. He's living a life. I know. Um, he really is. This he is my retirement plan. He, he, he's popped himself down by the, the pool in the middle and he's like slowly unwrapping his foot wrappings to dip his feet in the pool. Aww. Well, he tells you a story. He deserves it. He fought hard. <laughs> he took a lot of damage. He there. almost died. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. He's, um, got, he's got his deck chair in a bundle? Yes, and he's got the bundle just sort of tucked underneath the chair. Christmas in the bundle. Mm. It's just this is Sunday afternoon book. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's it's a garden it's, it's a big sun hat. It's a sombrero that's the size <laughs> of a gazebo. That's so cool. Yeah. He is bald. He, he does need a sun hat. Yeah. Has he got that sort of like sunburnt red? The UV rays are no joke. Mm. They are not. Mm. Sorry. Do, Tell us the story. Does the sun in the Feywild emit UV <laughs> I don't know if either of them. Completely derailing, sorry. Anyway, what's the story? Mm. Okay. He tells us a story. He would tell you a story. He is going to tell you a story of an archfey. Mm. An archfey that has existed since before the lands were split. Ooh. Is the archfey the collector? Perhaps. Did we spoil the ending? <laughs> all questions at the end of the story. <laughs> oh, you're all gathered up for it. Story time. <laughs> story time. <laughs> you re the tenth girl. <laughs> 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 I'm getting tortured. <laughs> no cliff. In the water. That's cute. Oh, I like to sit and wash his feet or something mm. while he's having oh, the story. That's so weird. I love it. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Uh, and Pollyanna would like tuck herself down onto one of his shoulders as well while he, you know, he is settled. Once, before there were the four courts of the Fae, it was one Fae. There were still four seasons, but they cycled. They moved wow. around the plane. One Fae, and this was before we had kings, and queens, archfays. But one of these archfay decided they wanted to take control. They wanted the land for themselves. Oh dear. Mm. So they cast a spell that has never been cast before or since, and it stopped the seasons. Mm. And the seasons stopped rotating about our realm. Mm. And from that sprang the courts of summer, spring, autumn, and winter. Through these divisions and the sudden lack of resources in certain areas, many wars broke out. And throughout all these wars, one archway stood above the rest as a champion the people we fought, the King of Winter. He fought for our people to stop the wars, to stop the violence and to work together. But in doing so, he tricked us, as the Fae are wanting to do. And he took control of the whole of the Fey realm at that point in time. All four courts were under his control. He ruled like this for endless time. When the season stopped and night and day became locational, it became difficult to tell how long he'd ruled for. And being immortal, impossible to tell when it would end. Mm. Eventually, a series of archfey 
bound themselves to each of the seasons to try and rise up against him. And they succeeded in three of the courts. Ooh. But its connection to the winter was too strong. They managed to seal him in the Winter Fay, where he would rule. And he did for many, many years. We believe at some point he became bored <laughs> with his court, bored of ruling over the Winter Fay, bored of the politics here, and far more interested in other realms and in the mortals that lie on your own plane. So he relinquished his title, his ruling, all of it, and he left. And for many, many thousands of years, he left. We do not know exactly where he went. He returned frequently. He still had his palace that he kept. And his collection began to grow from this. Why he chose to give up ruling and move to this, we're not sure. But he no longer rules the Winter Fay. But he certainly has more powerful mm. power than our current queen. Mm. <laughs> You're seeking his palace? She's in the mountains, just north of here. North isn't the right word in the world. A couple of directions don't work in the sorry. <laughs> Is it like Springwood? It's in the direction of Spring. He just sort of points. Mm. It, yeah, like, it, yeah, north, south, east and west, they don't really exist here because mm. there's nothing to draw a compass, as it were. There's no mm. compass points, no ma magnetic draw. It's been a long time since I have ventured up into the mountains myself. But I know that his palace is not a place that you ever leave unless he wills you to. Hmm. Either you are collectible, in which case he will keep you, or you are not deemed valuable and thus are disposed of. Oh. that I immediately decided which one Vero was. I'm so mean to my cousin. You really are. I need to be nicer to him. This is why he keeps on trying to kill us. <laughs> <coughs> Did he ever have dealings with other beings not the material realm? Frequently. Visitors, even? Celestials, fiends, elementals. I would have no way of knowing. Mm. If he entertained them in his palace, I would suggest yes. He often holds grand balls that folk could attend. So glad you left it at I was like, refrain, <laughs> refrain! Sorry. <laughs> we don't need to know about his personal life. How are we talking? Like, how grand are we talking? Do you need both hands? <laughs> <laughs> Family friendly stream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a different DM to distraction uh, that you kept having to say, like uh, celebrations and uh, dances, just to avoid saying the word balls. <laughs> <laughs> Try to say opulent balls. Incredible. Um, yes, he frequently holds uh, celebrations and such to. Himself. Amuse himself, mm. I imagine. I have never attended one. I do find balls pretty amazing. <laughs> true. I'm sorry, let's move past this. Yes, <laughs> please. Until I think of another joke. Can, can we come back to this during the break? <laughs> <laughs> we must. Let's get out of our system. <laughs> mm. I was not writing notes anymore, it's just lots of puns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any more questions? Sorry for my mum. Does he know when the next celebration will be? Uh, 
No, but it they all frequently... to be tomorrow. <laughs> are they fancy? Like, obviously they're fancy, but like, uh, the attendees must mm. be dressed all fancy. Do we get to dress up, do you think? Quite possibly. <gasps> it's a palace. I love a dress up episode. Oh my god. Yes. It's going to be so fun. We got things up next week. Next Twitch stream when we're doing this, we should all dress fancy in real life. That would be fun. Be very opulent. If only we had like a really big event coming up that we had nice clothes yeah. for. <laughs> that would be so helpful. That's so helpful. <laughs> yeah. Oh, does Mudlong. <laughs> no. I'm going to try and put this back on track. <laughs> the pylons mm-hmm. and the, and the yeah, lightning. Yeah. Does he know what that's for? Does he know what that does? And do they lead in the direction of the palace? In the mountains. They draw the lightning into the palace. Mm. What happens with the lightning? I don't know. I've never been into mm. the palace. I've only been as close to it as I have to. Mm. But it's it was the collector that uh, I was about to say erected, erected all these pylons, uh, installed. <laughs> as in, they, they are of his doing. I believe so. Mm-hmm. If he built that palace, mm-hmm. and I believe the pylons were built after. Some mm-hmm. people have solar panels, some people have wind turbines. Ooh. Some people have a storm. Yeah. This is way more metal than anything that we've got. <laughs> kind of covetous for real life, but also quite glad it doesn't exist. Yeah. If if we need to get in to the palace, which we totally do, because the fucking swords in there, and we want yeah. to. Yeah. Uh huh. Um. Can you suggest a way of us going about that? You glance at you all and say, "Could offer yourselves to be collected." Yeah, that seemed like yeah. Yeah. we have to look really. I think we are actually cool as fuck. Yeah, let's be honest, mm-hmm. we're really cool. Yeah, he frequently collects mortals that he finds interesting. Yeah, I mean you're not dead anymore. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and also have a pact with a deity that you're not actually like that closely aligned two. with. With two deities, mm-hmm. holy shit! And like a creature of the deep. Like you got like a bunch of stuff going mm. on there. Yeah. You are <laughs> friends a with an angel. angel. The friends yeah. with an angel and also an angel. And you're a the angel. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh mm-hmm. my goodness. Like I still have like an asterisk on that one because I'm not quite sure what you guys saw, but we'll have to figure the that out. The angel. Okay. I like the title. I'm happy with mm. that. Yes. <laughs> very glowy. It's yes. Fuzzy wings. It's very cool. That seems like yeah, one we're, way. We're all pretty awesome. We would be collected and probably not perished. Yeah. I, I've seen collections of butterflies oh, in pinned in books. Pinned. I don't fancy mm. that being us for the rest of our days. Yeah. You would be kept alive. Mm-hmm. Are the, we're given a are mortals in the collection really free to roam in the palace? The palace and the ground, I believe. Oh, that doesn't sound as bad. The worst thing in the world. Not super helpful for the current predicament yeah. of Pearl Liar. Mm. I don't mean to. Yeah, I don't. Again, I don't mean to keep on dunking on Barrow, but I do actually really like capture, like get him before all of this, because I worry that he would not be collected. You know, yeah, he would be disposed he's of. a bit lame yeah. and annoying. Yeah. Nobody wants him in his. He's their just home. nippy. And the trident would then probably go into the collection. Yeah, and then that would be two things we had to deal with. Yeah. If, I mean, if regardless, this... the trident I think is coming with us, yeah. unfortunately. Mm-hmm. If this so, is. Yeah, if they're going to get trident in one way or the other. Is our way out to recover all three items, bring them together, and portal our way out or something? Charge up the cup. With the, we, the other two items. The three items have never been reunited before, like, it, recently. Not since. We don't know exactly no. how they're going to react to each other. We do know that the sword and the 
heart had an affinity for each other. So no, the sorry, trident. The trident. Yes. The two weapons had an affinity for each other. And that got broken off by the collector, is that correct? Who then pinched it. Oh, yes, yes. So, right. yeah. so like, there's a possibility oh, no. that if we get that back and stuff like that, that really close affinity and stuff and other mm. shit might kick off as well. And that might be enough to charge mm. the cup. Mm. Or, mm. like, I don't know. This could... It's really hard we to don't really know what's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Nobody knows. <sighs> Just don't fancy being part of a collection while Perlmire is suffering in... I get that, yeah. But it's for the greater good. The greater us having, I think us having an escape plan is part of the greater yeah. good, for sure. But, like, again, it's really mm. hard to have an escape plan. Yeah. I think if we could reunite the items, a solution will present itself to us. Hopefully. Do you, do, should we try and get into this party on the DL and, like, see if we can just, like, keep a little profile? We yeah. don't know and where then, the party is. <laughs> I am manifesting a fucking party. <laughs> <laughs> we just believe it hard enough. Yeah. Well, you think you see the thing is, if there isn't a party and we start talking as if there is a party to everybody in town, we'll just make a party. Like, Which oh, I need to start. <laughs> it's that like, keep obviously, up. come on. <laughs> this party is going to be what? absolutely popping. It's going to be all of us, the <laughs> cleanser, and a bunch of one food dandelions dressed up the nines. Yes. <laughs> You get too excited and like breathe too excitedly around the dandelion folk, they'll just all go away. <sighs> What if the security of the party is like this fucking dude? <laughs> Probably. Then we'll be like, hey, I know your cousin. You should go check on him. Uh, <laughs> that Charlie guy. When I'm reading Nymphen Burke. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Well, um, do we have more questions? What's in the bundle? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I'm curious. Is that just cheese? Can is, we have some? Is that, is that your lunch? No. To so thank you to you all. Oh. oh, it is cheese. Now I feel worried for asking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, what's that? Oh, it's a gift for me. For me, for me. Uh, but he would pull out this bundle and he would pass it to all of you. Oh wow, it's that book I lent you ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> a deep cut. Listen, it's a really good book. Hmm. This was not included in the terms of our deal, my lump. No. Thank you. You are welcome here. All of you. And we, and hopefully we can return and um, we can really <sighs> assure that this is not going to happen again. Yes. Um, I, I realise that obviously this kind of is more of a slowed things down than necessarily cease them all together. Yes. And mm. when we're zooming around as wind people, if we get any intel, yeah. mm. you know, we we'll can... send the bee your way. Yeah, we'll send the bee your way. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Then you are always welcome here to rest, to stay, whatever mm. you need. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you Mudla. Do you ever go by Muddy? No. Like as a nickname? <laughs> Would you be open to it? Mud lump is my name. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. yeah. I'd Definitely suggest Polly for you, Polly, but the Polly I don't but like understandably there's some confusion Let there. there. Yeah. How about Paul? <laughs> I, I quite like my name. Yeah. That's fair. It is a lovely name. Thank you. And if you perhaps see uh Amelyn when you're out and about as well. Amelyn. Yes. Sorry, Pollyanna and Amelyn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not not at all no, confusing. Sorry, no, Am- Am- Amador. Am- okay, that's Am- Am- Amador. Pollyanna and Amador. If you perhaps see Amador in your travels, yeah, you send him back, please. Of course. Sure. Mm. Amador. Has he been derelict in his duty? Should no, he have he's been just, defending this place? He's gone walk about. Oh. He was looking to try and um, get help, same as the bees that came to get us. Uh, okay. So he's doing completely opposite of derelict. Yes. He's, he's not bound to this place. Mm. He stays with us and protects us when he can, but he, mm. he does his own thing as well. I want to see this dude in a fight against the fucking ogres yes. and bears. <laughs> What's the bundle? Can we open the bundle? You can open up the bundle What's if you like. Is it presents? <laughs> presents! So you would unwrap uh, what looks like a, like a, um, just like a bit of leather that's been like, uh, cl- uh, held oh, shut yeah. by, um... Leather. <laughs> 
<laughs> leather? <laughs> I've given you a scrap of leather. Please add that to your crafting inventory. Oh, God. It's craft. <laughs> um, but what you would see is this sort of... Um, after unwrapping it all and like pulling out what is in, you would see this um, metallic set of armour. Oh, oh shit! Is, it looks like a breastplate hmm. with um, green. Uh, what, what do you call the fancy padding that you get under armor? Oh, yeah, like the same stuff that's like nice and padded and things. Yeah. Uh, Don't understand. Padding, I think, suffices. So. Okay, yeah. but like green padding that's very intricately stitched. Mm. And you can see it's stitched with this almost metallic. Um, wire almost Ooh. that gives it a little bit more rigidity um, and you can see is it model up sized? it is it's not. unfortunately a dandelion size it's dandelion size he gave you this massive package for dandelion size on <laughs> beautiful we can put it on clever yeah probably too small yeah <laughs> no no it's sort of medium person sized hmm. uh, medium folk sized um, but this is a bit of half plate. Oh. Um, the plate itself has got a lot of etchings into it, very fine details mm. etched into its surface that resemble snowflakes. Oh, cool. Ah. That, like, brush across mm. it. That's cool. Um, and Mudlump would say, another night passed through these parts, many, many years ago now, and gave up his knightly order. Whoa. Uh, and when he did so, he chose to leave his armour here. Do you know what his order was? No. He did not want to say, and I did not press. It was his That's own business. Fair. A fey knight? No. He was mortal. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I wonder if Do any of us recognize yeah. snowflakes as I mean, the winter a court. nightly symbol? But well, mortal. The first thought, though. right? It was yeah. like winter court, winter fae, but mortal. This is mm. really niche. I don't like the odds of this, but it could. What if it was. Um, I forgot his name. Garrel? Garen. 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 Ooh, that's a, that's a show. I don't think. I mean, what are the fucking odds? Like, I just. It's possible. I mean, I it's guess. We come across a lot of coincidences. That's true. We do. Yeah. Almost like I wrote. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, is there any like identifiable elements to it? There's no religious symbols on it, mm. and there's no like name tag tucked mm. into the back that says, if lost, please return to. Uh, symbols of knightly orders, deities. Um, you can factors. do a religion check, or you can do a history check if you like. Mm. Uh, Belinda and Clifford will not be able to do these checks. Mm-hmm. Cool. Do either of them have proficiency with those skills? You tell me. I uh, don't. You have their sheets. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, no, they do not. No. I think m- what they have is like physical. Did you say stuff. religion or history? Religion or history, pick they one. Are both identical. I've got proficiency in religion. I think we want to back on that. Four. What's your religion? Plus, mine's just plus eight. Plus four. You should be rolling that. Yeah, go for it. We can, we can always I roll with all. Oh, but okay. you won't roll with the I presume you're just recasting telepathic bond at some point. Yes, yeah, so so sure. otherwise. Great. Unnatural 20 okay. for religion. For religion, okay. 14 religion. I'll go 14. for a, a 15 history. 15 Ooh. History. Okay. That might get us something different, yeah. Okay, so an unnatural 20 w- on religion would certainly tell you that this is no. Um, religious markings of the mortal world. Mm. Um, some of the markings on it do look silver, um, which you would know is the primal pri- primary language of the Feywilds. So it is certainly possible that it is a religion of the Feywilds that you simply don't Definitely know. Uh, History-wise, uh, I'm not sure of the 15 that you would know anything particular about. This isn't my history. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It, it's it's yeah. It's not very Polly's area related. Mm-hmm. Or 
gardening quick to tell you. <laughs> Understandable. Um, but yes, I can tell you more about the mechanics of this item as Ooh. well. Sure. Interesting. 100%. It's called Winter's Embrace. Sick. It is an attunement item. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm just trying to read my own fucking handwriting. It's plus one half plate. Mm. Um, so it's made. So it's got it's it, yeah it's it's mostly made from this this metal and then it's got like these pauldrons on your shoulder that are made from this like icy cold crystal that are a little bit see through. Oh, sure, it's fun. Um, they give you sort of like a dusty icy like mist, you know, like dry ice kind of yeah. like that oh, off your shoulder. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. Okay. That's like that's almost as good as a cloak of billowy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it gives you resistance to cold and fire damage. Amazing. Love it. Uh, you are immune to the effects of severe cold weather. Very nice. And it gives you an aura of cold. Ooh, mm. what's an aura of cold? So as a bonus action, you may turn on this aura uh, or turn it off. It doesn't have a time limit, uh, but. A, the aura is a 10 foot wide, 10 foot radius aura, mm-hmm. where all creatures within that aura will take 1d6 cold damage at the start of their turn Holy when you first shit. turn the aura on. That's pretty cool. big. That's pretty big. Wow. Oh, sick. Very cool. Um, Alan would be interested. Certainly. Yeah, I don't know. I think you were my thirst first thought. I don't think that <laughs> your thirst thought. <laughs> Polly's like, you'd look so good in that. <laughs> good, um, Whoa. Look at that uh, night. With the dry eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Um I don't know if warlocks or such bars are even proficient with that type of ar- armor. Yeah. It's, it's, it's medium. Medium. It's mm-hmm. certainly possible. Warlocks. Orcs definitely get light armor, I think. Definitely, I think. I'm really As confident. far as I'm aware, Kai usually does mage armor. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's true, it's true. But yeah. the cold stuff would be really their alley. I do also oh, think that they already have resistance to cold. Exactly right. mm-hmm. like, yeah. So yeah, no, it's just it's a no-brainer. You should, you should wear it. If the party's cool with it. Can't. <laughs> that was unintentional. That was but, good. yeah. Yeah. Cool. Definitely cool with it. I am attuned to so many things. Why did you roll a die, Alex? Can we? Can, it's what, not why? first what? right. Oh God! Is it? Is it? Cur- I didn't. I didn't even ask. I was like, the thought this was This is lovely. Like, Thank you. The thoughts crossed my mind, and I was like, but love would never. Would we be getting this information as a sort of like? You know, you can kind of identify things over a short rest yeah. and get... I imagine you having a bit of a story time, a bit of bread and cheese and, yeah. like, random stuff that he's produced for food. Mm. Mm. Add a bit of honey and you run rations into that. Nice. I don't... You don't automatically get, uh, you know, identify curse items over short rest. No, so do. I you don't have to, think I've got you, it either. You have to tune to them as per the DZ rules. Yeah. I do I have... fucking bet this is a mortal knight... Wearing armor with sylvan winter fate that it's gotta be fucking Garrett. Yeah, I've got I've got great restoration, so worst case scenario I can get off you of that like <laughs> you got remove curse It'd be as well. Curse. No great restoration works. Oh well that do it. Um but remove curse I probably have as well. Great I don't restoration think I will take yeah. a diamond the other day. Oh mm. yeah. It's a more expensive spell in terms of resource, so yeah. Feasibly. Yeah. It ends at one know. curse, including the target's achievement. Um, oh, I'd have to give up something good for this. Oh, you mean you're... I mean, as in, I've got, I've got four quite nice achievement items yeah. as is. Yeah. We've explained this before, but Alex, this is a really cool thing where you can prof- you can um, be attuned to up to your proficiency modifier. Yeah. So all of us are able to attune to, at present, four items, which is fucking stellar. Love it. Fun. Yeah, it's really yeah. cool. I, I think it allows for a lot more fun things. It means you can throw bigger. bigger fights at us as yeah. well, which is never a bad thing. <laughs> mm. And you can take them, and it's great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of my items that I'm attuned to is the bag of bees. Uh, that's mostly for the aesthetics. Isla, you can't. Isla, no. 
I don't know. Um, what? I what? <laughs> believe when you level up to 13, you'll get another achievement. <laughs> Oh, of course, you're right, yeah. Because you will get, it all moved to proficiency five. Proficiency bonus five, yeah. Yeah, so you will, you will all get another... Uh, yeah. Uh, another proficiency bonus point. And therefore another achievement slot. And therefore another achievement. Are you okay? <laughs> We're having a fight. Okay, I'm going to let you do that. Okay. Um, so yeah, if you don't want to attune to something just now, or you can live without something for I'm just not a level. Anymore. Yeah, the rest of a level. Yeah. yeah. No, that's cool. I, I think but I know what. That's entirely up to yourself. Yeah. Are you interested in half plate? No. Cool. <laughs> well, that was, that was a nice and short job. Are you cool if Adeline yeah. sticks it on? Wicked. Uh, I think if you'd allow over the course of this short rest, the ach- Ooh, awesome. I think there's a card for it somewhere. But okay. I don't know exactly where. Uh, Your handwriting is so cute. Thanks. It's nice and legible. This makes a lovely difference for mine. <laughs> Um, if you're cool with the short rest mm-hmm. being, a sh- I'd love to break attunement to one of my items and attune to this. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think you 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 will probably spend a couple of hours here by the time you get to the mm. end of well, your short rest story time and, and story time. So cool. I think that's plenty. I cannot remember if you can unattune to an item whilst yes, you're tuning you to the next one. I am. Can you? Ninety percent sure. Yes. yes. I'm. It's okay. our game, let's say you can. I don't know. I but think, I think that attuning to something so. new breaks attunement to something old. Um, oh, and you okay. get to select which one it breaks attunement to. With the exception of Coach Factor. Yes, yeah. precisely. Sorry. <laughs> Just that forever slot taken up at the moment. That's fair. Why are you attuned to it? Wicked. Uh... I think yeah, uh, Adeline would would try it on. It, uh, I think medium armor takes five minutes to put on. Where so with like his old kind of like you know probably pretty crusty suit of studded leather at this point, uh, come through it in pond. <laughs> like even with all the patches that were sewn onto it. Oh bl- no, no! Don't do that. Of ash patch. Oh no no he like he totally like unpick that the and one like poly specifically sewn. Oh yeah, I'm 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 like it's being for kept for sure. All so thrown in the pond. All the sigils and that, like, un- totally for keeps. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll cut it out, and I'll just be like, "This is getting tattled to attention to you whilst you sleep." Yeah, it was onto me. <laughs> <laughs> it was Not the other. No, I'm fully tattooing this thing that oh, I'm designing onto you. Yeah. Oh, I think Adeline would be like, "Yeah, fucking like, oh, get that tattooed across my chest. Tattoo. Huge." <gasps> We're gonna spend the night doing stick and poke. It takes a really long ow, time. Ow! <laughs> ow! Ow! <laughs> Absolutely do not, you do not get a long rest. <laughs> it's adorable the things you guys try and do in your downtime, like when you had swimming lessons and stuff like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think he he shrug it on. Part of him thinks this might have belonged to Yaren. Um, or at least that's the prelim. Every time I mention his name, I stare so hard at Alex and she's giving nothing away. Nothing. <laughs> you wouldn't like it if I gave you two. No, much, you're though. correct. You like the puzzle. I do like the puzzle. <laughs> she knows this so well, guys. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> if I can achieve this over the course of this or a second short yeah. rest, um, do any cursed or unintended effects kick in when the achievement completes? Not that you're aware of. It feels like you're getting a frosty hug. That's unpleasant? Let's play. Well, Let's it's kind of summer at the moment, so it's kind of nice. Yeah. yeah. I, I will like gently mm. point out the aura is all creatures. Not anything. Yes. Yeah, all probably creatures. that. Uh, it's, it's off. Generally off. <laughs> but also, um, mm. uh, Kai has got resistance, so... Like, oh, yeah. You do less damage to that friend. Yeah. yeah. Well, I was just thinking with a storm of uh, wings... That the disadvantage, like creatures mm. in the area have disadvantage, was really good with a tentacle because mm. the tentacle didn't get disadvantage. The tentacle could still get Summoned advantage. Creature. It's yeah. not a creature, but that's what it's, I was clarifying. Yeah, it's like a spiritual weapon. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. just a weird thing. Um, mm. So it's, it's so you guys together could be do some pretty optimized things if you wanted as well. That'd be very cool. Mm. Yeah, no, Adeline's current armour was regular, not magical studded leather. And, and uh, magical's going to really help as well. 
And I think, yeah, put, putting on this kind of like magical half plate, yeah. I think he looks a lot more knightly as a result. This looks oh like God. shining armor. The kind of Maybe ease. Adeline is my first thought. <laughs> I said oh, I meant to say Adeline was my first thought I said thirst thought it, uh, was, a, it was a whole thing but like damn he was hot good for him oh, oh, God, I'm, I'm so cool. cool the hot and cool yeah it's very good <laughs> yeah. I think he's a little overcome with it he's like oh my god I feel like a knight <laughs> Yeah. That's most like, you know, this scabby studded leather that he's been yeah, wearing. Like a little reflection in the, like a little ref- there's a really poetic moment of you looking at your reflection mm. in the pond. Yeah, he's like... And then fits. Mud Lump raises his feet and they just kind of emerge. <laughs> You're like, yeah! The tentacles just sort of, but. excuse me, <laughs> rub his face. And then splashes it. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> mm. Sick. And that'll currently AC up quite nicely, I believe, okay, as well. So what are you at, 19 now? Uh, what's, what's half million. plate? 15 hmm. plus 2 decks plus 1 will be 18. Yeah, Which is amazing. a little bit of improvement. Yeah. Oh damn, we can get you up to AC 20 if we put our cards right. Yeah, 18, oh, 18 base and then a bit of haste, but you'll fade. Oh my god, 26. Yeah. I've got that reaction for one off attack as well. 28. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think it's a good time to take a quick comfort break for all of us because we've been playing for about two and a half hours. (laughs) Very good. Have been wicked. Awesome, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. As Mm. always, please do consider uh, buying a membership for Glasgow 2024. We are very excited to be hosting it for you here in Glasgow at the SEC from August 8th till 12th. Mm-hmm. It, it's gonna be wonderful and we are very very excited we've got a lot of announcements coming out for it in the next week while so do keep an eye on our social medias uh, to check out all the wonderful things that we have planned for you um, but yeah I think at that we will sign off yeah until yeah. yeah. next time we Thank don't you know what much. that is and we will post our next time on our social medias as well <laughs> yes. we've got our calendars sorted <laughs> thank you all for joining us bye bye, bye. bye. Tomorrow, right? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, two weeks from now? No. <laughs> <laughs> two weeks, I'll just be <laughs> <laughs> See you. Bye, bye. <laughs>